Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Tuesday night live auction. You guys know who I am, Cali Reseller Luis. And my guest tonight is the one and Nikki. only Nikki Love Snacks. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. Hello, everyone, for joining us uh, every Tuesday night. You guys know how we do it. And you know how we do it. We always bring in different guests and different people. And like I said, she has a lot of great stuff coming up. So make sure you guys sit back, relax, get an adult beverage, get some lawa, some soda, and let's have a good time, you know? So we're going to go ahead and say hi to a couple of people that are coming in. Hello, Ella. How you doing? Hi, Ella. Hey, Kyle. How you doing? He said, how's it going tonight? Kyle. Hello, Maria. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. I actually got to meet Maria two weeks ago at the Rose Bowl uh, flea oh, market, so that was cool. That's right. I always like meeting uh, other resellers, so hello, Maria. One of my hey. first jobs was working at the Rose Bowl flea market. Really? Yeah. It's awesome. I love the Rose Bowl. Yes. Yeah. You see so many, so much uh, unique items there. Lots of fun. Yeah, it is. Hey, buddy, Black by, by Silver, how you doing? Says Maria. Oops, my chat just jumped up. Hello, Janine. How you doing? If you guys don't know who Janine is, uh, she is my mod. So make sure if you guys are bidding on anything, you guys let Janine know. If you guys are out, also, she will be uh, running the chat tonight and always. So appreciate if you guys uh, let Janine know. If you guys have any questions, or if you guys are uh, out on one of the bids, please let Janine know. Uh, we really appreciate it. And hello, Janine. She says, welcome, Nikki. Thank you. We got my good buddy, Jonathan Alfaro. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Let's see. Oops, sorry. This, oh, this just jumped. Okay. When it does that. It does that when everyone starts coming in, it just starts flying. Oh, yeah. Hey, Michael, Wheaton, how you doing, buddy? Hello, Steph, how you doing? Thank you for coming. Uh-oh, the jarhead says, let's <laughs> freaking go. Uh-oh, let's not keep him waiting. <laughs> Hello, Babette, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see everybody that's coming in. Awesome. Oh, hey, hola, amigo. Como estas, uh, Pages? How you doing, buddy? Hey, New England Fish. How you doing? Oh. Welcome, welcome. Oh. Funky Town Collective. How you doing? Thanks for coming in. Hey, Larry Fisher. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Thank you, thank you for coming in, guys. Well, I want to make sure I didn't miss anybody here. Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah, go ahead, take your time. Yeah, I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with us tonight. So Louis was not uh, able to join tonight because he had uh, some uh, personal uh, family matters to attend. Okay, yeah, she just came back, Janine. Uh, Nikki, uh, Janine wants to know if you're going to invoice or do you want them to pay after each lot? Like, how would that work? I'm not really familiar with that. Um, the only thing I've done before is invoicing, so... Okay, so just have, them, just have them email you, right? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, yeah, she just wants to know so she knows uh, to let uh, whoever wins anything from you so they know okay. before we get started. And uh, do you do free ship or charge ship? Oh, we're doing free ship tonight. She, she's doing free shipping tonight, Janine. Yes. Thank you. I know, right? Uh, let's see. Look at Collective. Hey, T, how you doing? Hemlock Lady McIntyre, how you doing, T? Welcome, welcome. We got through everybody for now. All right. <laughs> so if y'all saw me come last week, y'all better get ready for some fire. <laughs> yep. Hopefully. 
Hey, I was there. I know. <laughs> All right. I, know I know what she brings to the table. So definitely, I agree with you, TJ. Definitely, definitely. Hey, Beaumont Picker, how you doing, Gil? Thanks for coming in. Hey, Lee, how you doing, brother? Looks like all the fun people and all the exciting people are coming in. All right. Maria says, I'm so excited. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> excited. All right, guys. Uh, you guys know uh, from uh, $1 to $50, we do $2 increments. Once we get to $50 to $100, we do $5 increments. And once uh, we hit $100 and above, we do $10 increments. So uh, please, uh, if you guys are bidding on something and you're out, please let Jenny know. It'll just help uh, us uh, move the auction along and uh, keep everyone informed of who's in and who's out. And uh, like I said, uh, with myself, you guys know, you just send me the payment. And with uh, Nikki, uh, please email email her, sorry, your information, and she will invoice you. And she's also doing free shipping tonight. So just want to make that clear before we get started. Hey, Westside Gary, how you doing, brother? Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. All right. All right, so we're going to let my guests go first. I'm going to say ladies first. That's All always right. the thing that we do. We let the ladies go in first. So I'm going to go ahead and put Nikki up, and we will get started with her first lot. All right, since he said ladies first, we're going to start with something for the ladies for men too but you know um hang on a sec hello Kay. how you doing thanks for coming in sorry about that i thought i had in front of me and worry. all the all the ladies that buy from me tonight are going to also go home well everyone who buys tonight gets a sticker so something to look forward to and all the ladies who buy from me tonight are going to receive a few uh, free little gift. And this is kind of fun because all ladies need a little atom atomizer, atomizer, whatever, perfume thing for your purse. All right. Little glass thing there. You stick your perfume in there. Put it back on. Squirt, squirt. Stick that back in there for your purse. All right. So if you're a lady... And you buy something from me tonight, you're going to get a little special treat. All right, first up. This lot is um, yeah, just a kind of a girly lot. We're going to start with a brand new Victoria's Secret Pink Sparkle. Here, let me get my light over here. Come here. Um, wallet, keychain, wristlet, as you can see there. This is brand new. This has never been used. It still even has the... Little tassel, open that right up. Little, not a huge spot, but for your coins. Places for your cards. And this little thing kind of even opens and closes. Hook that on your belt. Something else, your beach bag. Kind of cute. Like I said, new with tags, Victoria's Secret. Now to keep with the Victoria's Secret theme, we're gonna also include a brand new bottle of this Victoria's Secret Platinum Ice. This stuff smells delicious. I don't know if any of you are familiar with this particular scent. This is brand new, never used. Um, this is also included. We're going to start this lot at $15. That includes shipping. So let's do that. $15 to bid increments, just like Lewis explained. And next up, this, is, this stuff is really cool. It's rated one of the best self tanners there is out there now my skin is not a fan of the sun we've had we've been in a lot of trouble in the past anyways long story short i don't tan so i know how important it is to have a nice healthy glow during the summer and all ladies could benefit from a little self bronzer here now this is saint tropez and if you know this brand this is a hot brand. You can't buy this, I don't think, for less than $30. So we're starting this lot at 15. It's already a fabulous deal. So, and you can see too that this is sealed. This has never been used. It's gonna come to you like that, brand new. And to top the lot off, just cause, you know, girls, we all have 
so much on our plates a lot of the times. You need something to write down your list. So I've got this pack of two. They're from the World Market. They're super adorable. I've got Kitty Cat, Rainbow Shirt. We have the Magical Unicorn right here. And these are two little notebooks. So All that's right, we got awesome. my at 15. All right. Going to be included in this lot. So once again, you're going to get Fabulous Victoria's Secret little wallet thing. Brand new bottle of the Victoria's Secret Platinum Ice. Smells delicious. And this is brand new. And then this really, really nice self bronzer. Um, it's a mousse. So this is bronzing mousse. Natural, healthy looking skin. And this is the self tan classic. So um, I think this classic basically work on everybody give you a nice little you know bronzy look anyway so don't forget gonna get that and that and this is lot number one the victoria's secret lot i guess we can call it or girl lot anybody else 15 looking for 17. any other interest it's uh we got my coin at 15 looking for 17 and it's free shipping guys all night yep Hello, Robin. Any other interest, guys? Let us know. All right, Belmont Picker. He knows what he's picking here. Yeah. This is some good Belmont stuff. Oh, and it's a comes back in at 20. And if it's not for you, this is a resale lot. Everything's new here. Yep, it's a good reseller bundle. Yeah, definitely. If you look even this stuff up, what it sells, like, just even on eBay, that's some money. Or you can keep, all like, three things, sell one, and then pay for your lot. All right, well, Mom Picker's back in at 25. So we. Very nice. Sienna Puss. It's like a rose gold. Glitter. Yeah. Michael Wynn is out. Thank you, Michael, for letting us know. You got Beaumont Baker in at 25, looking for 27. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going once, we're going twice, guys. Last chance to come in. If not, we're going to sell this to Beaumont Picker. Hi, Dina. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hey, Cameron. Hello. All right. Anyone else? All right. Oh, We're going to say sold to Beaumont, to Beaumont Picker. Picker. Thank you very much. And if your real name isn't in your title, make sure when you email me that you put your real name in so I could match you to your payment and, you know, all that fun stuff. All right. Congratulations. Congrats. Thank you. All right. So what's going to be your next uh, lot, the uh, Nick. We'll do something for the guys, okay? Um, right. Gentlemen, are you with me? All right, let's see here. Okay, first lot, or second, uh, second lot is going to be a sporty lot. All right. First off, we're going to start with, like new, hat. Still has the, the sticker on, on it. I don't know what is wrong with my lighting here. Sorry, guys. No, oh, don't worry. I've got the, I'm actually on our photo booth right now. And hey, Hollywood reseller, how you doing? All right, so that's that. Second Finale. hat is a 2010 World Series Champions Fall Classic, San Francisco. That's what that looks like. Yep, San Francisco Giants. It's a new era hat. 
True. Now these two so far. I mean, they're, they're, I don't want to say they're brand new because Hello, I don't want to say that. Let's just say really good condition. So if they are new. All right. These, the second two items of this lot, we're going to start this lot same, 25. Okay. That includes shipping. Um, these are brand new. Okay. First up, I have an Antigua brand, men's extra large. This is San Francisco 2000. It looks like 12 World Series champion shirt. Yeah. That's a polo. You see the brand there. Still has the tags on it. It's a size extra large. Has the logo on there. Of course, oh, clean bag. Collar with the three buttons. My lighting. Nice. Okay. And then the second shirt of this lot is going to be the same brand t-shirt, a size uh, mint medium. And this is the Sacramento Kings. So it's an Antigua polo. And the logo. logos are, are embroidered, right? Um, these are, yes. Yes. Okay. On both shirts. Embroidered. Yeah. Okay. So that's awesome. the Sacramento Kings. Size medium. All clean. So we have that one, this one, and the two hats. All right, we got Jonathan in at 25. Five. Free shipping. Yep, definitely. Can't go wrong with the two hats and the two shirts, the three button shirts. Hello, Nikki. Picky Nikki's here. Hi, Picky Nikki. All right, and then the two shirts. And they're both new with tags, right? Yes, both new with tags, and these are embroidered. We can yeah. see that. It's a great lot, like, guys. We saw a lot. They're not that gross, um, like <laughs> polo shirt, cotton, whatever. They're kind of nice. They feel kind of like a ni nice, lightweight, like sweat resistant type material. Yeah. That one. Hey, John Raver, how you doing, buddy? Welcome. All right, we got Jonathan Alfaro in at 25, looking for 27. Any other interest on this uh, four-piece lot? You get the two hats and the two shirts, uh, San Francisco Giants uh, shirt and a Sacramento Kings polo shirts. New with tags. So let us know. Throw your bid in. All right. Let us know if there's any other interest. If not, Janine will count it down. Hello, Annie. Thanks for coming in. Two hearts. Yep, there's the alley hat, and the other one is in great condition, too. Hello, Suzanne, the 2010 World Series Champions, Giants. All right, we're going to go once, going once, guys. Any other interest, make sure you throw in your bid before we count it down. We're going twice, guys. Last chance to come in. Any other interest, guys? All right. In all fairness, we're going to say sold to Jonathan oh. Alfaro. Jonathan, thank you. Congratulations. All right. Congratulations, Jonathan. So we're going to have Nikki do one more and then uh, I'll do three after and like we'll keep it moving. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness. So that's a my great goodness. pie. Um, let's do a fun lot. Okay. So if you're like me, you know that we probably really aren't alone in this 
huge universe of ours. <laughs> I'm a believer that these little guys live out there somewhere. So this lot is going to be our, my outer space alien lot. I've got a couple fun things on to stick with this theme. We'll start this lot up at 15, free shipping, and then from there on up. So there's this guy, absolutely adorable, still has his tag. He's uh, vintage, he's from 1997. So, but he's still looking good for his age. Yep, sure does. Super cute, huh? Yeah, that's awesome. Right? Second item of this lot, I forget her name. I think it's Nancy, but she's from the, the Monsters, Inc. Super cute. Stick with the alien theme. Monsters. Oh, that's cool. Hello, Joy. All right, we got Babette. Babette in at 15. Thank you, Babette. All right, coming up next. This is one of my favorite things. He's a little light. What do you call it? powered alien in his saucer ship and he's got his little camera there so he could take pictures of us when he's sweeping over our houses <laughs> that is awesome. right awesome yeah i like that <laughs> that's awesome now this next thing is really cool i actually sold one of these on ebay for 30 dollars. you guys i am not kidding you're going to get this little mini day glow alien wow is it going to cool? dark um yes that's awesome <laughs> it does he glows in the dark all right that is awesome i sold him for 30 dollars the same little thing wow crazy right yeah this so that would be something fun it's a lot of collectors for that kind of stuff that like buying little alien stuff so and it's hard to find you know you, yeah. you, this kind of stuff is hard to find okay yep, next I up agree. i have these really cool vintage alien i want to say they're pvc let me see if they're marked on the back no not really okay <laughs> and this is a lot of them i'm like yeah of course the glow in the dark is a little cooler but and i sold one for 30. i don't know what, what do you think these guys are pretty cool too so they're a little hey, bit Bo bigger uh beaumont picker uh, just email uh nikki and she'll send you an invoice yeah, yeah and just, just uh email her please let me know your Beaumont picker if it's not the same as your email. Yeah, just right. email her. She'll invoice you. Thank you, sir. So we got this lot of little guys. I'm counting them. I should want two. There's eight. Eight in all. Little silver guys. I guess they would call these the grays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that stuff. I am obsessed. So once again, you're going to get this really cool lot of little That's plastic awesome. aliens. This little light powered alien guy. Oh, and I forgot the most important part. Oh my gosh, oh. this is so cool, you guys. We're sticking with the theme, outer space, space travel. Yep. This is actually pretty valuable, and I just found it yesterday, and I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, hold on, I'll show you, I'll show you. Like, I'm not really a Trekkie. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And they're actually, this this actual brand, it's called Think Geek. This is pretty, um, if you were to resell this. I know, that is awesome. You're 30 or 40 bucks. It's, it's an oven mitt. So, okay. yeah, Hello, I'm Katie. right handed, so. <laughs> that is awesome, though. Still with the tag on it. We still got the tag. Me with tags. It's the Spock oven mitt. All right, yeah, that's included. Yeah. So you're getting a really good deal here. Bye bye bye. I'm just kidding. All right, we got Babette in at 15, looking for 17 guys. Any other interest? Let you know. Uh, this is a good one. We're getting some great Lots stuff. Lots of fun in this. here. A little glow in the dark alien. Like you can't live without this. Yo. I got this guy, and you can go like this and this. You can hang them. <laughs> mm. 
Yes, I do, Misha. Hello. Welcome. Hi, Misha. <laughs> All right. Joey comes in at 17. 17, 20. All right, Michael, you know what this is. This is good stuff right here, you guys. Little aliens. So that comes back in at 20. I wish I could show you how cool this guy looks when he's blowing in the dark. I, I mean, know. You can tell like how bright he is, but yeah, you could. That's why I asked you because you could tell that it has that kind of that glow in the dark look to it. These little green ones, supposedly they're the little short guys. I forget. Michael I forget back the name. Twenty six. All right, twenty six. Uh oh, looks like the Ben and Michael are going at it. Twenty eight. Now we're at thirty. Let ourselves a little auction. Here's a nice. nice lot, guys. Nice lot. They looked up that mitt. I know it. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Okay. Yeah, right, I'll bring that back, back out. At, she it comes is. back in at 32. Like if you if you have a family member that's hard to buy for, but they love they're a Trekkie. I mean, this is like they would never forget you. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I know, right? They would never forget who bought them or gave them this mix. Yep, exactly. Even got fingernails on there. That is awesome. It's fun. All right, guys, we got Babet in at 32, looking for 34. Any other interest, uh, let Jenny know. She will start counting it down. So much fun. <laughs> that is awesome. All right. All right. Sold. 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 Thank you. Congrats. Oh, we have there. 32. Congratulations for that. Congrats. Wonderful. She said her husband loves aliens. Oh my gosh, I do too. He's, he's gonna love that <laughs> lot. I, I mean, I try oh, yeah. not to tell everyone, but I'm a nut. Oh. I love that kind of stuff. Yeah, okay, There, there's uh, Nikki's email right there. I'll leave that up for a, for a few seconds so you can get that. So you could send her an email and uh, she will send that out to you. Absolutely. That is awesome. Awesome lot. There it is. All nice and packed up. All right. Congratulations again, Babette. Thank All you, right. Babette. All right. So I guess it's, I'm up, right? Yeah. That was, that was your third, right? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Hello, everyone. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us tonight. Everyone's thinking like, Where's Louis? <laughs> Louis had some uh, family stuff to take care of tonight, so he wasn't able to join me, but he will be back next week. So, all right, for my first lot, I have a lot of five Leap TV games. I'm going to show you guys real quick. We'll start it off at five. We have the Ultimate Spider Man. This is for pre K to first grade. Second one we got is Dance and Learn. Hello, Wonder Woman. How you doing? Third one we got is Jake and the Neverland Pirates. I know my son used to like watching these, these cartoons when he was younger. And we got Bubble Guppies. And last but not least, we got The Sports. ETV Sports has has nine games. Uh, includes uh, Super Goalie, Karate, Baseball, Bowling, Swimming, Rope Climbing, Weightlifting, Skateboarding, and Snowboarding. So it has a lot of activities uh, for the kiddos to do. All right, we got Michael in at five. Thank you, sir. Yes, uh, if you guys are new, please register. The registration is pinned above in the chat. Really appreciate that. So yeah, you guys get a lot of five Leap TV and free shipping, guys. 
So let's keep it going. All right, we got Westside Gary in at 10. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you guys all for hanging out tonight. Yeah, and it's free shipping, guys. So definitely uh, don't have to worry about anything else. And I do ship everything tomorrow. So everything that gets uh, bought tonight ships off tomorrow. You guys know how we do it. All right. We got Gary in at 10. Looking for 12, guys. Uh, any more interest? And Michael says, sure, I'll throw in two more dollars. We'll make it an even 12. Thank you, sir. These were tested and they do work fine. Yeah, it is packed with awesome people. You are correct, Misha. It's a lot of great. We got Gary in at 15. Thank you. Thank you. Michael says he is out to Gary. Thank you, sir, for letting us know. Any other interest? Let Jenny know. We got Gary in at the high bid of 15, looking for 17. If not, we will start counting it down. Oh, that's awesome, Beaumont Picker. I'm glad you received your Bart Simpson. <laughs> You're doing good, Michael. No worries. All right. We're going once. We're going twice. No problem, brother. All right. In all fairness, we're going to say sold. To Gary, congratulations, brother. Hello, Patty. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Congratulations, Gary. Yes, I got your registration, Wonder Woman. You're good to go. Yeah, bro, I saw that earlier. <laughs> Some crazy stuff, man. You're right on that. Thank you so much. Uh, congratulations, Gary. So I'm going to go ahead and do my second lot. See if you guys are ready for this. Just uh, pin. Let's see here. Yep. Yes, Wonder Woman is good to go. Thank you so much. All right. Let me pull my second lot here, what I'm doing. All right. Let me see if there's enough light in here. Yeah, should be good. All right, for my second lot, I have uh, Michael Jordan, Washington Wizards, 2003 card. It's a BCCG graded 10, mint or better. There you go. Rising to the occasion. That's an upper deck MVP card. So. It's already graded. It comes in the case, and it also comes in a little plastic sleeve to help protect the card. So let's get this ball rolling. We'll start off at $5, guys. Let's go. It's a 2003 card. That's the back right there. Well, hello, Cat D. Nice to see you. Cat D came in before you, uh, Mark. So you would have to come in at 12. Yep. Let me put it again so you guys can see it. It's already graded. Jonathan's in that 15. Make sure you're on live chat, uh, Mark. So make sure you're staying up to bid with the bids. 
Michael is out. Thank you, sir. Kathy's in at 20. New England Fish comes in at 22. And it's free shipping, guys. Anything that everything that gets bought tonight gets shipped out tomorrow. Hello, Renee. Welcome, welcome. Jonathan's out. Thank you, sir. Kathy says, sure, I'll drop a few more bucks. <laughs> Cat's in at 25. Yes, uh, New England Fish is registered, Janine. I just have to wrench him. I will do that after this lot. John Raver comes in at 27. Cat D says, okay, I'll come back in at 30. Let's roll. I know a few people have been asking to bring some more graded cards, and I'm starting to open up the totes. I know Cat D's been waiting patiently. All right, John says I'll drop 32 on that. Hello, Sherry Russell. How you doing? Whoa, Kathy drops the hammer in at 45. Nope, Kathy never plays. She knows what she wants. We got Kathy in at 45, looking for 47. Nope, she is not. Hey, flipping. Hey, Charles, how you doing? This is Michael Jordan. Uh, this is the Washington Wizards card from 2003, and it's a uh, BCCG 10 mint or better. Harley Handler comes in at 50. Hello, Harley. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. New England Fish is out, and Kathy says, not so fast. I'm in at 65. Got ourselves an auction now. Hardy says, sure, I'll drop another five down. Thank you. Hardy's in at 70. Let's see who will want this card. Kathy says, not so fast. She says, I'll do 85. And I'll, this ships out tomorrow, straight to your door. Already graded and everything, so. A lot of you have already purchased cards for me. You guys know that I send you guys good quality stuff. So this is what digging in the totes gets you. This is only the first card for tonight. I still got another card that I'm bringing on a little later that I will bring out. So don't worry. I do have another Mint 10 card coming up. Thank you, Harley, for uh, letting us know. So this is your last chance, guys. Last call. We got Cat D in at 85. We're going once. We're going twice. Nice. Any other interest? We're going to sell it. Oh, wait a minute. Harley Haller comes in at 90. Whoa, comes in for the snipe. Oh, she really must really want this Jordan card. It's a 2003 Upper Deck MVP card. Kathy says, I'll drop a Benji. <laughs> I know, Harley. Trust me, I know. I'm a card guy, too, so you guys know. Stuff like this ain't easy to let go of, but I like bringing you guys some wheels, deals, and steals, guys. Okay, thank you, uh, Harley. She says, now out to Cat D. Thank you, thank you. So we got Cat D holding the top bid. Anybody else wants to come in and challenge? If not, we're going to sell this to Cat D. And I'll ship this out to Cat D.
Hey, Bonnie, how you doing? We're going twice, guys. Last chance to come in. In all fairness, we're going to say so to Cat D. Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. I'll have another card coming up in a little bit. It's also a mint 10 card, so make sure you guys hang out. And, you know, for a chance for you guys to get it. You know, I'm, I'm bringing, like I said, I'm digging through the totes, through my card totes, and I'm bringing these out. So, hello, Karen. Hello. Congratulations. All right, that's my two. I need to do one more, right? Yes, I do. Let's see. All right. Since I'm doing, I'm still in the car. I just did the card. I'm going to do something else, too, here. Let me just get this out really quick. Thought I had it out. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us tonight. Hey, Derek, how you doing, bro? Hey, hey, folks. All right, guys. For my next slot, I have a Pokemon trading card, trading card game, Sun and Moon, Crimson Invasion, Elite Trainer Box. Boom. Hi, Sandy. How you doing? It's brand new sealed. Trainer box. Trainer box. All right, guys. You guys know how I do it. So someone start me off. Someone throw a bit on it. Let's get the ball rolling. Yeah, you know it, Harley. Got to represent that Red Hot Chili Peppers. You know it. All right. Bonnie starting off at 10. Thank you, Bonnie. We got this Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion Elite Trainer Box. Michael says, sure, I'll drop a $5 bill on that. Thank you, Michael. Zion on Tiger comes in at 20. Says, sure, I'll throw a couple bucks. It comes in at 22. And it's free shipping, guys. It's brand new sealed. Just trying to bring you guys the wheels, deals, and steals. Bonnie came in at 25. Uh, came in right before you, uh, Mark. So you have to come in at 27. Sherry Russell comes in at 30. Thank you. Henry's Desert Deals comes in at 35. Hello, how you doing, Henry? Thanks for coming in. Kay says, sure, I'll drop 40. Oh, Gary, you need to come in a little bit more. Henry came in at 35, brother. Make sure you're on live chat, Gary. Sherry Russell comes back in at 45. Hello, Amber. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. All right, we got Sherry Russell in at 45, guys. Any other interest? Let Janine know if you're out. <laughs> that happens to me too, Gary. Sometimes I'm on top chat. When I bid, I'm like, oh, come on, I'm, not, I'm so behind. <laughs> All right, Henry comes in at 47. Thank you. Mike says she's out. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone calling Gary a rookie and an amateur. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Don't worry, guys. So, yeah, you got the Elite Trainer Box, the Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion. Thanks, Gary, for letting us know. Any other interest on this uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon uh, Invasion box? If not, Janine will start counting it down. That's the back of it. Any seal? I'm going to go ahead and put this down. All right. 
Last call, guys. All right, I'll put this down. All right, we're going once. We got Henry's Desert Deals in at 47. We're going twice. Oh, yeah, I do it too, Gary, so don't feel bad. Happens to the best of us. Hey, Tom Cruise, how you doing, brother? Uh-oh, we got Cherie. Oh, it looks like Cherie Russell came in for the snipe right before Janine called it. She came in at 50. We're at half a Benji. Yep, she came in sniping. She's I'm taking that bad boy with me. <laughs> All right. We got Sharia in at 50. Make sure you guys let Janine know if you're still in or out. And let's continue the going. Yeah, we sure do. We got a sniper in the house. Where, where did I miss? Oh, okay, here you go. He was at 52, and yeah, there you go. There's 55. There you go. Thank you, Sheree. We're doing five dollar increments after 50, guys, and it's free shipping, and everything ships out tomorrow. So, anything that you buy today ships out mañana. Henry says he is out. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Any other interest in on this? Uh, let us know. Yes. Thank you, Caddy. Appreciate that. We're going once. We're going twice. Twice. That's just, that's just. Hey, Tony, how you doing? All right. In all fairness, we're going to say sold to Cherie Russell. Congratulations. All right. Congratulations. Hey, Vintage Treasures, how you doing? Hello, everyone that's coming in still. Thank you guys for coming in. Hello, Loot Raider. All right, that was my three lots. So I'm gonna go ahead and send it over to Nikki. Oh, there she is. <laughs> you ready to go, Nikki? Yes, I am. All right, we're sending right. it over to Nikki now. There we go. This next lot, I'm gonna start at 30. That's free shipping. So I'm gonna show you the items and then you decide if you wanna take it home. First up, we all know this bag. I have this really, really, really pretty chocolate brown, like new, authentic coach bag. Wow. All right, this is really pretty, you guys. Let's see, hopefully my lighting's catching. I know it's probably gonna look different on your computer than it does mine, so I apologize, I'll do my best. It's the inside. Like ridiculously clean. I this is not this has not been used. You can tell. It hasn't been sat down anywhere. So 30, all right. So we're starting with the coach bag. This is that hobo style, kind of a slouchy look. Ta -da. But on top of that, here, let me set this on something nice. Um you're also going to get these pink linen earrings. They're a fun brand. They're just kind of like a trendy jewelry brand. So you can see new unbox. 
Now this looks like it's rose gold, regular color gold, and then silver or white gold. So it's the three gold tones. All right, new in box. Next up. Hey, Paul. I've got a tube of CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored Waterproof Extreme Black. Now, I like this brand, and I like in CoverGirl. I've, I think I've just grown up using it. I just love it. Um, this is a waterproof, and as you can see, you can expect longer, lusher lashes. That's what the claim is. I, I like this one. I use it. You know, you, you do have to like kind of put it on a little bit and go back and forth and add to it. But that's going to come with this lot. Waterproof too. Next up is this really, really pretty authentic pearl necklace. Now, this was actually made by a friend of mine. I had a salon a long time ago and I sold jewelry. And this is just something that's kind of, I'm going to drag this long because that was like uh, over 10 years ago. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that this is a true gold chain right here because what she used to do is would like piece out old vintage jewelry and then make new. So this is one of her pieces. Really pretty. And then the clasp is marked, but I can't see what it says. So this is a nice piece. It's really pretty. And it's got that, those a curly, chocolatey, mo I don't know what you would say. Really pretty, like light brown. So that's included. So this is 30 for everything. That includes shipping. Hey, Ryan. Earrings. Luscious lashes. And this really, really pretty coach bag. All the accents are gold. I'm not sure if that shows really well. 40. Wonder Woman, I need to talk to you, lady. <laughs> I'm glad you showed up. Uh, write down my email address because if you send me anything, I'm sorry, I'm like totally like interrupting everybody. Oh, no, no, that's fine. Just because I saw you and I was thinking about you and I've asked a couple people who you were and I don't know. So I apologize. <laughs> if you sent me an email, I got lost in a sea of eBay stuff. Um, and I don't know your name, so I apologize. Get a hold of me, but thank you, anyways. All right, Karen, back, back to, back to the auction. <laughs> Ouch. All right, like I said, gold accents, all the bells and whistles, beautiful, nice. You can feel the quality in these purses. You know, hobo, slouch. Okay, and of course, it's going to come with the dust bag it came in. Because we're going to keep that nice and, you know, fresh in our closet. Don't let the dust get on it. Um, once again, waterproof mascara. Pink linen earrings. With the tri-color gold. I call those hoops. And this really pretty authentic pearl necklace. I try to keep two of the same colors that kind of would match the purse. So there you go, curated by Nicole. This is an awesome lot. Very nice, sophisticated lady like lot. Anyone want to see anything again? This. Someone asked if there's a certificate. For the necklace. Um, or for the for the bag. No, no, no. This is an estate find. So this is what it came like, like this. Um, it is obvious. I mean, I've handled some fake stuff in my life. So, yes, this is not. I mean, I'm more, you're more than welcome. Like, I, I'm, I, I feel bad, like, that I don't have a certificate for it. Mm -hmm. um, but I've sold this brand quite a lot. And you can just tell. It's really nice. And you know what? Um, if it ends up being fake, get a hold of me. I don't, I'll take it back. It's not that big of a deal. So yeah. I don't think so. I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. You can even tell even the dust bag is really well made, which is not something you get with a cheap purse. Um, 
It's got the silky cords. It's not okay. cheap. So that's that. Last call. Thank you, Misha. It sure is. It's nice. It's a nice lot. Yeah. This is a, I don't know. I hope that somebody who's going to buy this is going to use this for themselves, you know? No, definitely. I mean, I don't care. But. Yeah, no, definitely. You no, know, feel good. You bought yourself something. Yep. All right. We're going twice, guys. Any other interest? It's let Jenny nice. know. My son's yeah. start, uh, starting to go down over here, so. Nice. The light, it's get, the light is getting better. Yeah. All right. In all fairness, we're going to say sold to Karen. Congratulations. Karen. All right. I'll leave that up for you so you can write it down. Thank you, Karen. And congratulations. Okay. Wonderful. Congratulations and thank you. I really appreciate it. I know you will enjoy this. So there's Nikki's uh, email down below on the screen. Make sure you go ahead and send her an email and she will send you an invoice. All right. So what do you got for your next lot, Nikki? Okay. This is a, this is kind of a different um, lot. Um, this is from a personal estate sale that we attended and we ended up, we think that this guy either had stock in this company or we own a restaurant or something you'll see what i'm talking about um so this lot everything's brand new it, it's you'll see all right <laughs> i'll stop you up and then show you this is going to be the sapporo lot all right all of this stuff is from the company promotional i don't know drink in the world kind of a really cool shirt it's got the, and if you eat sushi, you know what Sapporo is, because mm -hmm. the beer we order. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And this is an extra large. It's printed on a fruit of the loom, brand new. Like I said, you can't buy this stuff. Um, it's definitely promotional from the company, and I have a lot of it. So, all right, so I have that. And uh, people collect this stuff. They love to, you know, collect the brewery and whatever. But um, it's hard to find. So this should be a fun reseller lot if you like it yourself to keep. All right, next up is a Sapporo hat. Now, this is black. And I already said we're starting at 25, right? Oops. I guess we are now. Okay. <laughs> No All right, so I apologize. All right. So Sapporo hat. It's adjustable. It's got kind of like this faux leather thing with a little buckle. Yeah, wait. Oh, ah. There you go. Brand new. Nice. And then, oh wait. Next up, like I said, you can't buy this stuff. This is from the company itself. I, one of those huge... Like, you can't lose this. <laughs> now, where's the bottle cap opener? I don't know. You can't lose this. This thing is a monster. But it's nope. really cool. It's, like, plastic coated on the top, so it's kind of, you know, it'll be comfortable. Yeah. And uh, it says Sapporo Premium Beer on it. I know. You're not going to find these anywhere. This is we That is awesome. Trust me. Or eBay, people, we look everything up. Some people in the chat are asking about that Bart Simpson shirt behind you. Oh, we're going to get to that. That's a good one. That's a fun one. All right. Okay. You guys heard it from Nikki. Just hang out. She'll bring it. Okay, next up. This is fun. You're, you're going to get 10 of these guys, all right? Now, these, we've, I like to tell you a little bit of the research because I know we're all resellers here for the most part. Um. Yeah. You're going to get a lot of 10 of these Sapporo bottle keychains. You see that? Oh, awesome. And they retail anywhere between 5 to $7. So you're going to get 10 of them. That's like me giving you 50 or $70. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. That is awesome. 
Yeah, so that's all that. You're going to get all of those. Keep one for yourself. Give them to your friends. I don't know. Stop it or stocking stuffers. All right. <laughs> all right. You got Jonathan in at 25. Joy comes in at 27. And Michael <laughs> says, I'll drop 30. Thank you. All right. And so the most exciting part about this lot really is because I, I don't know about you, but during like the pandemic and stuff, I was totally like engaged in YouTube, like any kind of like reality story. I love that stuff. I love seeing other people's lives. And yep. um, there was this episode about how many people turned their freaking garages into a bar lounge. During yeah. the pandemic. My cousin has one like <laughs> that, too. To enjoy. All right. So this is kind of fun. I mean, and if you saw some of these places, you would think you're going into like a pub somewhere. Yep, so, exactly. cool. so this is kind of fun because you're not going to find this anywhere either. Oh, it's wow. a drink mat for your personal pub in your garage, outside of your garage, anywhere. So these are neat. You know, you, you can put it on, line your shot glasses up. That way the, if you, if you miss, it doesn't ruin the wood on your brand new bar. <laughs> that is awesome. And awesome. It's really cool. You're not going to find this anywhere. Nope. Nope. Jonathan nope. comes back in at 33. Right. All right. Thanks. So there's a little bit more to this one. Let me make sure. Yeah, there is actually. Okay. This thing is really cool. I'm not going to open the box because it's new in box. So here it is. All right. You're probably like, what is that? Let me show you. Hold on a second. That is awesome. This thing is stinking cool, okay? You stick it on top of the Sapporo bottle because it's a bottle, and you just go, and it takes the cap right off. Oh, I don't know wow. if anyone's ever seen this before, but these are cool. Now, this one is ours, and so it looks kind of beat up and stuff, but this one's new in the box. So you're going to get that. That's cool. Be like exactly a trick you could show your friend, like, come here, let me see your beer. <laughs> Turn your cap right off. That is awesome. <laughs> right? That is All right. Sweet. You're going to be so cool with this thing. Nobody has one. No one has one. Yeah. Michael Williams back in at 35. Jonathan says, I'll come back in at 40. And, okay. I've got two more bits of this lot. You're going to get a couple of authentic Sapporo collectible pins. And these ones have a light on them. So oh, um, that's I need cool. to tell your waitress if my light's blinking, bring me another. So <laughs> I'm not really awesome. sure what these are, but we haven't taken, we haven't used them yet. So that they, they're still kind of, they're new. Yeah. And that way you could pull the little tab and make them go. Kind of fun. Nobody has these. No, nope, that is awesome. <laughs> All right. And you're going to, you you know, most of the reason why we eat, we drink Sapporo is because we're eating sushi. So you're going to need some authentic Sapporo chopstick rest. You're going to get four of these, okay? Four. You're new. Because you know you only have three friends to invite over, so it's not no big deal. Anyways. All right, you guys. So I can recap. It's an awesome that. lot. It is. It is because it's yeah, different. Yeah, it is. So that's the authentic Sapporo beer shirt, extra large. If you don't want the extra large, I have the same shirt. Right, let me see what size this one is. It's extra large as well. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so it's extra large. That's what you get. I know, right, Paul? <laughs> he says you're about to open your own hibachi restaurant. <laughs> we, no, we could. We have everything to dress all of the sushi. <laughs> wow. Kidding. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, you buy these, like, uh, closets at estate sales. You never yeah. know what you're going to get. It was exactly. insane. We're, like, opening box after, like, what in the world? Who likes the coral this much? I know, right? Hello, Rachel. Welcome. All right. So you're going to get the hat as well. You could put this on and probably walk into a restaurant and they would think like you're working. You're like, yeah, I got to go. I know, right? Check your beer out over there. 
All right. That, and remember this awesome, one-of-a-kind, Sapporo Premier Beer drink mat. Catching all the splashing. Woo! All right. And then that really super cool, huge, oh, bottle cap opener. I'm no Vanna White, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, all right. That's super duper awesome, cool. Throw your friends bottle opener right off. Sapporo pins. Am I saying that wrong? Sapporo. No, I think it's Sapporo. If not, I apologize. Um, I, What's up, brother? And then the four chopstick Sapporo rests. Little stars. They're so cute. Is that better? That is awesome. So awesome, right? And then, let, you know, don't forget, you're going to get 10 of these guys. Kind of cute, right? Yeah, that's, that's um, cool. I like that. Right? Right? So we got Jonathan in at 40, looking for 42. Hey, Jonathan. I'm going to say last call. Janine's going to start counting it down. So last chance to come in on this awesome lot. Awesome. And if you guys like this stuff, I can bring this, you know, some more of it out. All right, this is your last chance, guys. And say soul to Jonathan Alfaro. Congratulations, Jonathan. Congratulations, bro. Appreciate it. Hello, Jenny. Welcome. All right. All right. Since we have so many questions about who's behind me here, we'll move uh -oh. on to that lot, okay? And let me clear this out so that I keep this lot nice, real quick. Uh oh. Is she going to bring it? I think she is. Real fun. Uh oh. Okay, here. Uh oh. <laughs> You're a 90s kid, 90s adult. Yep. You remember this guy, right? So I've yep. got a. This, uh, you know, I'll be honest with you. This is going to be a smaller lot. Um, this, I'm not really sure, like, how vintage the shirt is, but I'm going to show it to you because it's really nice. It is the actual Fox um, brand. Fox, you know, the, the company. Um, so there's that. So we'll start with this. Okay, so this is, we're going to visit the 90s with this lot. This is totally, like, something you would see a kid at high, junior high probably mostly, but high school walking around looking like this. No joke. We've got first... A vintage Liz Claiborne. What do you call this? Crossbody. Yeah. Now this 90s stuff is like seriously hot again. Makes me feel so old. <laughs> <laughs> that makes us too. <laughs> I used to wear that and it's, oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so, okay. So Liz Claiborne was everything back then. That was like... Well, at the high school I went to, it was like all the preppy girls wore this playboy. All right. So with that being said, the next thing is an authentic Liz Claiborne trademark flannel. And these are the coolest colors, you guys. Like, seriously. Yep. yep. I would have totally worn this. Like, And I would even to this day. Um, really nice. It's got like the satin right there. Kind of cool. I mean, she this this is quality stuff. Like, when they say they don't make it like they used to, it's serious. Like, this is so nice. And, I mean, obviously, it lasted this long. So, all right. So, this is a Lizwear Authentic. Green. I, I want to say electric green and purple plaid. 
I guess you would call this the buffalo check. Really neat. Two pockets, button up, collar. It's a size small. So this lot is going to be, you know, either for yourself if you're if you're if you're small. Some of us aren't anymore. And um, or for the teenager in your life. I mean, oh my gosh, it'd be so stoked. 90s, oh my god, these kids are wearing everything we used to wear. So with that being said, too, we've got this awesome. Oh, come here. I thought this was a good idea. <laughs> Anyways. I've got this Bart Simpson small shirt. Like I said, I'm not sure. It's It can't be as old as the show because I think it would show a little bit different. We, we had tags then, and this is the, the no tag, the tagless, I guess. This is a size small as well, but you're going to get this. Did I, and I didn't say we're going to start this auction at. So crazy. Okay. 15. We'll start this 15. Free shipping. You get the shirt. The vintage Liz Claiborne. I mean, I feel like this is like a total posh lot. Like something that if you sold on posh or if you wanted to wear it yourself, this is this is seriously like something you can lot together. So there's the Liz Claiborne thing. And to keep with the 90s theme, I have the funniest thing. It's called the Office Space Box O Flare. Now, you open this box, okay, and if you haven't seen that movie, I don't know. I mean, everybody needs to see this movie. It is, there's so many truths in it. It's so funny. Anyways, total 90s. This came out in 1999, so we've got the Office Space Guide of Flair. And then if you remember how, I always want to call her Rachel because of Friends. But Jennifer Aniston's character, like how she worked at that horrible restaurant and she had to wear all the flair and it was just really ridiculous. Well, this is that flair. So you get all these weird little fun buttons. So 90s, seriously. We used to just put these all over our Levi's jackets. Yeah, I remember she wore them in, this, in the, what was it called, the suspenders. Yes, I yes. Like she was working for TGI Fridays or something like that. Yes, so, and you know I, I worked at um, where did I work at the Black Angus, which is a total chain restaurant, and it was so like that, like the corporate stuff that you have to say. Anyone who's been a waitress for a big name knows all about that. It's it's crazy. I could totally relate to her in that movie. So there's that. Okay, so I could go through all these, but as you can see, like they're they're basically her flair from that movie. So that's people with the '90s theme. Really fun, collectible, little book included. Okay. And then keeping with that vintage girl theme, I actually have a new in box vintage Avon lipstick that's shaped like an ice cream cone. This is so funny. And I know Avon's like, oh, but seriously, like when I was a little girl, like the girls that had this, it was like, wow. <laughs> so. I don't know. I don't know how to open it. And I don't want to ruin it, but it's new. You can see how cute that is. Isn't that something like total girly stick in your purse? So there's that. And that's about it. So we were at 15 with this lot, right? Vintage Liz Claiborne. Got the box of flair from Office Space. All right, send some t-shirt. Now remember, this is free shipping too, so... And the Liz Claiborne, the true authentic vintage Liz Claiborne Buffalo check flannel. Hey, Anthony, hey. how you doing, Anthony? Hey. So cute. This shirt is super soft, too. Nobody wants to revisit the 90s. <laughs> so funny. It wasn't that long ago. Nope. <laughs> Let's go. It's okay. If we're going to, we can move on. No big deal. Oh my. What else? What else? Now I've got a couple things. It's kind of cool. All right. Michael came in at 17. Misha drops right. back in at 20. Yay. Thank you, guys. Misha. 
Office space. Vintage little purse. And when I did research on this shirt, I couldn't find this style anywhere. So that's why I was like, it's kind of up in the air what it is. And but the Fox brand label, I don't know if that's if they still make stuff. Going twice. Oh. Point two. <laughs> yeah, right. two. Come on in. <laughs> he came in for the snipe. So funny. Once again, back to the 90s. Bart. We came in for the snipe, guys. Any other interest? We got Paul in at 22. Oh no. Uh oh. All right. Let me grab the dog real quick before he starts parking. Yeah, go ahead. All right. We got Paul in at 22, guys, looking for 24. Any other interest? I'll let Jenny know. If not, she will start counting it down. It's funny because my garage door is open right now, and this is about the time everyone takes their evening walks. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hi. <laughs> I'm getting the strangest lookers. Hey, Eric, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for coming in. All right, we're going once, guys. Going twice. Say soul to, to Philly Flipper Paul. Thank you, Paul. Sorry, Misha. <laughs> okay. All right. Congratulations, Paul. Yay. Um, hmm. <laughs> All right. Now I've lost. Now I've lost my. Uh... Okay, I have something weird, I guess. <laughs> All right, this next lot. I have a hot mess lot of My Little Ponies, and I just don't feel like doing their hair. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it so much, like so. You can see what you're working with here. Um, I'll tell you, oh, these are from 2007. It's all right, Jenny. Really yeah, go ahead. Yeah. It's okay. So they're all in really good shape except for their hairs, okay? We're going to start this lot at $10, shipping included. If you're up to it, you can make yourself some money by fixing up these ponies. 
This one's not that bad, but you can see they're the old style. So this is the hot mess pony lot. This is from one of like those play school um, play sets. So this might be a piece that people are looking for. You can see it's got the little keys underneath uh, its hooves so that it could twist. And how do I know that? I'm a girl mom. And I had a daughter who grew up in the early 2000s. So, so this is the hot mess pony lot, $10. All right, Cheryl. And I need to talk to you. <laughs> Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl. She's cute. She's got like this. Uh, what does it say? Creativity. Kind of looks like she's all tattooed up. But she's from the, yeah, 2007 as well. All right, family's home. Hot mess pony is gonna need a new hairdo. Stick, you know, I wash them with um, usually dish soap and then I rinse their hair out with some fabric softener and it's just like new. And it, there's videos all over YouTube if you need to know how to do pony hair. Hot mess pony lot. This one's cute. I freak, I don't know their names. And that's another thing too. It's like I'm kind of tired of doing the pony yeah, research. This is my little pony with cats. Sorry, my family just got home. He wants to come in here with me. That's fine. fine. So cute. And like I said, I think this is, belongs to something. It's got like little keys on the bottom to. And I wish I wasn't blind. I could probably read the bottom, but it definitely has that look of the ponies in that early 2000 phase. Now they all look like they're anime. Oh, it looks like this one has somebody's initials on the bottom. I know there's ways to remove that kind of stuff. So just be aware. Addy. Addy owned this. <laughs> this was Addy's pony. Everything else is looking really super clean. I'll try to get them closer so you can see. This looks like it has something to do with fire. Yeah, they're all authentic. Like there's a... There's Addie again. So apparently these ponies belong to Addie. Yeah, there's those. I don't know why some of them do and some of them don't, but I think these are from the later ponies, that little pink. Interesting. No, actually, this is an earlier pony. This is 2002. I can't believe I was able to read that, but. Hey, Dory, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. How many ponies are all together, Nikki? Oh, I'm sorry. There's five. So there's two of the large or the regular size. And then I have this little pony that belongs to some kind of play set. All right, we got Joy in at 16, looking for 18 guys on this lot of uh, uh, My Little Ponies. Uh, Luis, where did you hide Louis? Uh, he actually had a family thing he had to do today, so he couldn't make it today, but he will be back next week. But don't worry. I got some shirts, guys. Twice. 
in all fairness, we're going to say soul to joy. Soul to joy. Congratulations, Joy. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <laughs> That's funny. Congratulations, Joy. Thank you, Joy. Hi. Hey, Andy Bird, how you doing, bud? All right, guys. There's uh, Nikki's information down below, so make sure you send her an email and she will invoice you. All right, guys. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. Hello, Annette. How are you doing? Thanks, everyone, that's still coming in. Appreciate it. All right, guys. For my next uh, for my lot right now, I'm going to do a mixed lot of shirts, so it's a little bit of everything. We're going to start it off at 10 bucks. so let me show you guys. I'll promise I'll try to show them as quickly as possible, and I'll try to show these in under 10 minutes, not 20 or 30 like Louie. So uh, there you go. The first one is a, it's a trasher, size small shirt. That's the official uh, trasher San Francisco tag on it. Next one we got is old guy's rule shirt. This is a size, uh, let me tell you guys right now, it's a size 2X. This is the front. Let me show you guys the back. You guys should know who this is. Mr. John Wayne. Mr. John Wayne. Then I got this uh, Negan Sluggers. From Walking Dead. This is a size medium. Next one I got. This is a size medium. This is the Lake Havasu City. Irish Inaugural Music Festival, the Patty Fest Havasu. That's the front hit. Yes, make sure you're on live chat, Hollywood. There's the back hit. That's a size medium. Yes, make sure you guys are on live chat. This next one is a size small. I know you guys, some of you guys are going to know who this is. Ralph Macchio. Also known, better known as the Karate Kid. This is in a size small shirt. They're just going all over the place. Here we go. All right. Next shirt we got is this, uh, this is a size extra large. This is an Injustice Gods Among Us shirt, and it is a full print of none other than the Joker. <sighs> Looks like the Joker. That's the front hit. Doesn't have anything in the back, but still an awesome shirt. Size extra large. There's a nice shirt. Also have a, a Tommy Hill figure size medium shirt. This is an official Tommy Hill figure tag. And it has the wrap on the sleeve, the Tommy Hilfiger colors. All right. Next, we got this uh, size extra large, I think. Let me see. Uh, yeah. These colors don't run shirt. Well, I'm going to get to the fun part now. These colors don't run. This is only a front hit. This not no back hit. This 
We got this size medium Star Wars shirt. The Last Jedi. This one's on an official Star Wars tag. So where are we at? Got Ryan in at 25. Cool. Got to keep blessing you guys with some shirts. And then we got this, uh, what size is this? Let me check real quick. This is a size 2X. Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. This is from 2005. It's a size 2X. Right here you see Mario breakdancing. Just has a front hit. No back hit. Second chapter okay. Shell's in that 30. All right. Time to spice it up a little bit. This one is a size medium shirt on a fruit of a, fruit of a loom tag. I'm with creepy. This next shirt is a size extra large on an anvil tag. Look at that. That's a sick shirt. Does not have a back hit. It's just a front hit. This next one is a size small on a gildan. That's the front hit. No back hit. All right. I'll throw in one more, see if we get some more interest. I still got a couple of shirts to throw in. I think they're going to get you guys pumped up. Yeah, it's a nice plan. Look at this one. The skeleton heads are inside of the eyes. That's pretty cool. This one is a size 2X. Thank you, guys. There are different sizes. I'm, I'm saying uh, the sizes as I'm showing them. This is a size 2X. This is a mixed lot of uh, size shirts. There's a mixture from size small to small to uh, 2X so far. So. Yep. It's, uh, yeah. It's $2 increments. From one dollar to fifty, and after that is five dollar increments, and after hundred is ten dollar increments. Yeah, exactly. All right. You got any other interest? Let me know. I'll keep throwing some more shirts in. This next one is a size uh, large. Ryan says he's at 37. Jonathan comes in at 40. All right, let's keep throwing in the shirts. Check this one out. A uh, size large. It's a front hit. He's just jamming. This is an awesome shirt. Yep, that's an awesome shirt. We got Ryan in at 42. All right, this next shirt is a size small. It's on a evolution tag. This shirt, if you guys like rock music or Guns N' Roses, this is going to be your shirt. Look at this. 
None other than Slash. That's the front hit. And here's the back hit. Slash. Yup. None other than Slash. You guys don't know who Slash from Guns N' Roses is? You guys need to check him out. Badass guitar player. I'm learning the solo for patience right now. That's awesome, bro. Can't wait to hear you play it. All right, and this next shirt I got, it's also a size small on an evolution tag. And this has to do with that shirt I just showed you. I know Janine's going to go crazy when she sees this. But we got Slash, also known as Popeye, on the shirt. And some, look at that. Guns and Roses. There's Popeye dressed up as Slash. Look at that. Slash Popeye. He's just jamming on the guitar with this pipe. So you got some great shirts in there. Check out. Let me count how many shirts you guys got. All right. All right. What's the size small, Janine? <laughs> One, two, three. Four. I'm just going to see how many shirts. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen shirts, guys. Yeah. Trust me, if it was a bigger size, I would have just held it on for you. I would have held on to you, uh, for it for you. All right. You get to 50, I'll throw in some more. I got more here to throw in. Let's go. 47. All right, we're at 50. All right, let's keep digging. Check this out. This is a size medium liquid blue shirt. Look what we got in the front. I know Nikki brought that Bart Simpson shirt out earlier, and here's mine. <laughs> this is a whole front cover. You see Homer. You see the whole gang there. You see Bart skateboarding and Krusty the Clown. And then you see Bart out of the shower right there, and itchy and scratchy. Yup. So this is going in there since we're at, we're at, let's see, Cheryl came in at 55. Ryan says, I'll drop 60. Jonathan's in at 65. All right, let's keep digging. And I, the good thing I have the tote here. Gotta bring me some fire stuff. Where's that shirt at? Oops, hold on. Wrong way. All right. Since you guys are being cool, I'm going to start throwing in some Hardy shirts. So here we come. Look at that. <laughs> These are all Hardy shirts. Yep. You know how that's probably the size of my living room, I would be in the mix. <laughs> yep. All right, this next one is a size. Yes, sir, this is an auction. Size extra large. Hardy Davidson shirt. This one's from 2017. Hey, Wes, how you doing, bro?
Oh. <laughs> no, it's just my tape. All right, so we'll throw that in the mix to that one. Where yeah, guys, I got a whole tote. But I'm saying I got a tote. Look, these are the shirts that are hanging out of this tote. This is a big black tote, so. Yeah, he's, he's doing some stuff with the family today, Wes. He'll be back uh, next week. <laughs> All right. Any other interests? Let me know, guys. We got Jonathan in at 65. I can pull out some more fire if I need to. Yeah, I got bags and bags of them. Yep, definitely. Last call. Janine's going to start counting it down. <laughs> Going twice. Yep. Definitely. Yeah, but Louis will will be back. Oh, hold on. Ryan says not so fast. All right, comes in at seventy. Awesome. Going another one. This one is the hog, San Antonio, Texas. The size extra large. But we're still going. The Jonathan comes back in at 75. All right, let's keep it going. We got this uh, size medium, Harley Davidson Museum from York, Pennsylvania. This is actual, actually an embroidered, embroidered. I'm sorry, shirt. The Hardy Davidson Museum, York, Pennsylvania. It only has a front hit. No back hit. And it has the three buttons. It has the three buttons here. And it's a size medium. So I'm throwing the, that into the pile. Yeah, exactly. I gotta I gotta represent. <laughs> oh yeah definitely all right any other interest guys let me know oh ryan says not so fast because i like what i see so he's doing 80 and then jonathan comes back at 85 all right try to throw another banger in here this one is a size, uh, where's the size tag on this? Oh, here we go. Size large. Don't oh, show the front. More Hardy Davidson cycles. It has the Texas flag on it. This one is from, I'll check right now. Wheels, deals, and steel, guys. You guys know how I do it. This is the back hit. Cowboy Hardy Davidson from Austin, Texas. That's just a coincidence. <laughs> I think we're like over 20 shirts right now. Yep, definitely. All right. Got any other interest? That's a nice shirt. That Austin shirt is nice. And it's funny because that's where Louie's from. Focus, focus, focus. There you go. All right, cool. Any other interest, guys? I know it's between uh, Jonathan and Ryan. <laughs> I don't know, Wes. I don't. I don't do that kind of stuff. So. Okay. All right, we're going once. I think Louie will know more about that than me. <laughs> Oops. All right. So that's a nice uh, lot of shirts. There's easily over 25 shirts easy. So, all right. I'm going to say salt to Jonathan Alfaro. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Oops. Awesome buy, bro. I know, brother. <laughs> this will give you some more stuff. All right. I'll just go ahead and do one more, and then I'll send it back to Nikki since I took a little longer with that lot. All right, guys. So for this uh, lot, my next lot I have is, I know I told you guys I had another card. So this is a BCCG 10 Mint or Better card. This is a 2000. Yeah, 2000. Upper Deck Victory. <laughs> I know you guys are waiting. Kobe Bryant card. Let me show you guys. It does have like a little line on, on the case. I don't know. That's how I got it in a lot that I got. So, but I have this card already. I have like five of these. So, just wanted to bring this out to you guys. All right. Yeah, that was an awesome lot. Can't go wrong with the Kobe Bryant 10 mint or better card. Make sure you're on live chat when bidding. Uh, whoa, Cat D just dropped uh, Benji straight out the straight out of the gate. Jonathan says, "Not so fast. That card is mine." I told you guys I was bringing some fire. I went through the totes. Will do, Jonathan. Will do. <clears throat> Kathy says, I'll, I'll put in 120. Harley Hanna comes in at 150. Make sure you guys are on live chat, guys. Cat D was telling me, Luis, you need to open up the totes. Open up the totes. And I, I listened. I opened up the totes. Let me show you guys the back. That's the back of the card. Card number 294. And it's a 2000. It's a 2000 card. So this card is 21 years old. Rest in peace to one of the greatest to ever do it, Kobe Bryant. One of my favorite players uh, besides Michael Jordan. Yep, you sure will, Amber. <laughs> I can't be at one six. Uh, Zy uh, Tiger, I think you need to be on live chat, buddy. Card comes back in at one seventy five. Yep, rest in peace to one of the greatest uh, to have done it. One of my favorite players as well. Kathy says, I ain't playing tonight. So drops 200 on the Kobe Bryant card. Yep. He had a, an awesome career. There will never be, just like there will never be another uh, Kobe Bryant, there will never be another Michael Jordan either. was uh, awesome to watch him play from the beginning till he until his uh till he retired but yeah all right thank you uh jonathan and harley we're gonna start counting you down we're going once We're going twice. All right. 
I'll pull this down. All right, awesome. It's an awesome card. All right, we're going to say sold to Janine, uh, to uh, Cat D. Thank you, Cat D. Congratulations. You picked up both of the slaps tonight. Awesome. Congratulations. I'll be sending both of those cards out to you manana. You know you usually get it within a day, so. Just hang out. You never know. <laughs> I have some more stuff that I'm going to bring also. Yeah, but congratulations, Cat D. Oh, sorry, Harley. Uh, Janine had already sold the card. She had already called it. Yeah, she had already called it. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. I'm going to send it over to Nikki now so she could bring you guys some more of her fire knots. All right. Hi, Nikki. Hopefully I didn't take too long. <laughs> oh, no, gosh. Please. <laughs> All right. Here you go, Great Nikki. Stuff. Thank you. All right. This next slot is kind of cool. I found these at, like, um, one of our storage units had a sale for their, their renters to sell some of their stuff off. Anyways, I found these. These are super cool. And, Misha, this kind of reminds me of your puppy. This is from 1925. It's called Chatterbox. It was like probably equivalent to like a really thick highlights magazine. And I don't even know, like a lot of you are even old enough for highlights magazine, but it's really well done. And um, whoever owned them before me kind of marked off some of the more fun pages and had a little note in there that said like, these would be great for framing. And I'm like, even the cover. Like how cute that is. Even the cover would kind of look really cool in a frame. Yeah, that is cool. I like that. Right? 1925. That's almost 100 years ago. Really beautiful illustrations. This is a picture of Hawaiian children. I mean, like, how cute would that be, like, framed? And I'm saying that because it's not in the best shape. I'm going to start this at, um, we'll do 15. That includes shipping. Um, I think the value in this one, more so because it's pretty sturdy still. But I've looked them up online. Yes, well worth it. 15 you probably couldn't buy this for $15. Um, anyways, moving on, I'll show you what we've got here because there's some really fun stuff. Like these pictures are just beautiful. And there's stories with them as well. And I kind of read a few. Oh, my gosh, so interesting. Just like to know or to think about how people used to think back then. It was a little different. Some really beautiful illustrations in this book. I just think it would be so cute to like frame some of them and put them up somewhere. Like that's ridiculous. That's, wait, hold on, hold on. A rendition of a, I guess, some kind of dinosaur. So funny, huh? All right, so there's this one. I'll show you another one. Like, look how beautiful that is. Little girl. Looks like baking a cake. It's just a really neat book. And on the back, they had some advertising. Really fun to read. So there's that. Chatterbox, 1925. Starting bid 15. And I'm going to add, and I'm losing the markings. But if it's yours, you're going to be able to go through and flip through it anyways. So this one's super, super cool. It's another chatterbox. But if you look at that date, 1904. Now, if you're a bookie, if you if you like to go through books like I do, um, ugh, someone was trying to sell this $35 as is. Who knows? There's a note here that says, Fantasy, 110 years, illustrations, mini frameable. And again, they're marked off. Like these are just super, super cool. Oops. And it, it's fragile, so we have to be really careful. Um, over a hundred years old, just so interesting.
All right, so 15. So we've got that bet so far. Oh, wait, look at this. Hold on. Old soldiers. And it's, it has that smell. <laughs> it's like, oh, like a sweet, musty smell. Oh, my gosh, look at this. Chatterbox, a cat and dog life. Super cool illustrations. Oh, look at That's kind of neat. And this one is not in the best condition, but is, I mean, would you be if you were from 1904? <laughs> Super cool. Hey, Mel. Hey, Mel. There's an advertisement on the back. Let me see. This was, I can find out um, where they used to publish this. In Boston. So this was Dana Estes Company Publishers. If you want to look that up, it's pretty. It, this is old. This is so old, and it's authentic old. It's so cool. The stories you're gonna get to read. Little piece of history. Really, really interesting. So there we are. We've got 1904. And she's just precious. Like these would be so cool frames. Like that if you didn't want to keep the book whole. So stinking cute. And to be able to read the old advertisements. Or and, and things you could buy. Like um, let's see here. Oh, there are different stories you can buy. A dollar seventy-five for the red pierogi. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Here you go. These are awesome. Like, They're so cool. And just to think like, oh my gosh, I'm sitting here holding something like someone almost, well, in this case, almost 100 years ago. This case, well, 1904, well, over 100 years ago. Somebody was sitting there like reading this. And it, it's well loved. So, and they made these to last. It's obvious. So neat, so neat. And it's just interesting, just even in the way that they ride, is that it's so different and unique to what we experience now. So interesting. The idea is just so, so interesting. Anyways, I could say that like a million times. Super interesting. Chatterbox books. He has a good look. Like, yeah, they are the same size for sure. Super cute. All right, we got part of part at 25. Yeah, some more awesome. stuff coming up now. All right, it looks like. I'm gonna say sold to Harley Handler. Congratulations. Congratulations, thank you so much. So much fun here. All right, what do you got next for us, Nikki? Um, we're gonna do kind of a girly lot. Okay. Let's do. All right, and this one we'll start real, real, real cheap. We'll do ten dollars. That includes shipping. And so to start off, this will be like a kind of gifty, gifty lot. Keep it, give it away. I've got a pen. 
it's it says follow your heart wherever it takes you and be happy life is brief and very fragile and only loaned to us for a while wake up every morning with the thought that something wonderful is about to happen and take one day at a time so someone special in your life that needs to hear that message it's a really pretty pin with a little saying next to it in a box all right so that's that and then i'm gonna Wait, what did I do? Did I already do that? I already did that one. Okay, never mind. Um, we'll do another cover girl waterproof. This mascara is pretty awesome. I have to admit, I always love cover girl stuff. It's pretty much what I've used my whole life. So we'll do that too. Um, hmm. All right, so I've got some stuff here that is not confirmed. Um, so what we're going to do, because there's just a lot of, like, regulations around this, is I'm just going to show you the product. You decide, okay? I, I, I pick up so many lots, it's not even funny, that um, I'm pretty sure I can't sell these online as authentic. I'm pretty sure. So just bear with me if you don't want it, whatever. It might be something that you have to keep for yourself because, like I said, I mean, I, I can't confirm this stuff. So I've got this really beautiful pair of sunglasses. And it comes in this really nice, uh, this is really well done. It has the gift box, okay? But if you're a stylish girl, like this is just a little, it's just not me. And that's fine. But I know there's people out there that just really enjoy a real rich, how would you say it put together I, I would say put together because i'm not put together look these are these are the that kind of sunglass they're so pretty you see that now we're not going to do the whole but the only thing about these is that, is it has the gold on the sides okay we can see that it's just not my style I have no absolute way of confirming this. So please, just like I said, bear with me. There's a card in here. I don't know if that means anything. Um, it comes with a cleaning cloth, the gift box, and the case. Okay? Can't confirm that. Like I said, I buy lots of stuff. This is just sometimes it happens. I don't know what to do. Too much of a headache for me? Thank you. So, there's that. Those are super pretty. And I don't think I said, well, we're going to start this lot out at 20. Or did, did I say 15? Oh, my gosh. No, I didn't. I didn't say anything. Wait, hold on. It's We started at 10. <laughs> I'm good, you guys. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. All right. So moving on with that girly lot, I have some other non-confirmed stuff. All right. So bear with me. It's a box. Oh, it's a box. So we're still at 10. And I have this really super cute keychain. It's got a little baggie. It's got all this little paperwork and stuff. All right. Broncos in that tent. Yes, seriously. So we've got that. And of course, I said any of the girl lots are going to receive a really cute little gift. We're going to go in with this really sweet perfume. Which one is a little spray thing. I showed everyone earlier. It's got a little glass thing in there. You put your perfume in there and it has this little spritzer. Stick it back in this case and stick it in your purse. So that'll come along with that. So there's that, you guys. Um, enjoy. So here we go again. Hello, girl. Little keychain. Cute little saying pin. Sunglasses. Really nice sunglasses. And a perfume spitzer. Anybody? I'm like, I can't think of anything else to throw in there. 
think about bad for like all of my fun stuff. Alright. We have a 15 Janine or Wonder Woman. <laughs> Here's Wonder Woman. I love it. You guys want to see the stuff again? Beautiful, beautiful box sunglasses. These are really pretty. I usually keep everything that's really nice that we find, but really pretty sunglasses. You can see that style. I'll put them on for you. How about that? Going twice, guys. Any other interest? Let us know. It's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mine was earlier. Oh, the neighbor's talking to him. <laughs> oh, okay. He's only like five months old, so he's just a meathead. Hardy comes in at 25, says wife wants it. Yeah, why not, right? <laughs> yep. That's the perfume automizer. And don't forget, you're going to get a sticker. You get an official Love Snacks sticker. Very purchase. <laughs> All right, All any right. other interest, guys? We got Harley in at 25. Thank you, Joy, for letting us know you're out. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> Dog's life. I know, right? Appreciate everyone hanging out with us tonight still. Yes. Sunglasses. Going once or going twice. Last chance, guys. Anybody want to see anything else again? Yeah, I know, huh? All right. We're going to say so. All Harley right. Heather. Congratulations, Harley. Congrats. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Awesome. Congratulations. Okay, so this next slide is just... um. I found something really cool last weekend, but I found a lot of them. So I just thought they were so beautiful. I wanted to share them with somebody. So okay. we're going to do this. Okay. And especially because a lot of us, even though I like to sell hard goods, mostly clothing, mm -hmm. it, it really has to be something special for me. But still, like, look at these awesomeness right here. These are fully beaded clothing. Clothes oh, hangers. I don't wow. know why that's so funny to say. That Look at that. Awesome. They're beautiful. They are so cool. Like, could you imagine like putting your evening gown on one of these and so like just a plain old wood one? Or God forbid, like the one you get from the dry cleaners. <laughs> I know some people don't really care how they take their pictures, but this is definitely gonna optimize. And I've got to start these at $20 because they're going to be an awkward package for one. They're not, they're not light either. So here's the other one. So there's three in a lot. You have a blue flower, a yellow flower. These are fully beaded and a red one. Like how pretty are these to put the clothes that you're trying to sell on? Super, super cute. And they're going to match everything, you know, especially if you grab these because, hey, we've got three major colors right here. Not to mention they're, they're multicolor beads. So it's going to pick up whatever piece of clothing you put on it and just add like that special touch to it. You know what they say when you're selling clothing, your pictures are everything. So definitely okay. must have. You're going to get three of them. 
really pretty. And you're absolutely nuts if you're going to try to make these yourself. <laughs> so, buy them pre-made, okay? Yeah, I that takes a lot of patience. A thousand, a thousand beads around and around and around. I mean, if you, <laughs> woo, <laughs> if you try to make one of these, you might drive yourself absolutely insane. I know it would drive me crazy. I just couldn't. So buy them pre-made. Someone else's hard work right here. Look at that. Exactly. <laughs> and it's, awesome, like, it's like I can't believe I found like who would throw these away, people? <laughs> You're nuts. Why? Someone like really, really thought about you. <laughs> Someone put the time and the effort into them. Definitely. They're so pretty too. It's okay. If you guys want to pass, we can move on. No sweat, no sweat. All right, guys, any interest? So just type pass in the chat and, we'll, and she can move on to her next lot. It's okay. Woo. Oh, hold on. Uh oh. Maria came in at 20. All right, Maria. It's, a, it's really worth it. It really is. These yep. are just one of a kind. I mean, yeah. it might not be for like everything you sell, but they're really pretty. And I wish you could see. I mean, like, unfortunately, I'm in my garage. It's dusk right now. Okay. So the light's getting a little weird again. Mm -hmm. So there you see it. Just multicolored beads. Really pretty. How many sets do you have? Is this the only set you have? I have one more, but I want to keep them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because someone was asking if you have uh, if you had more. I sold one already, and then this is the second one. Good night, Bobette. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, everything's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. But these are pretty. I like them. They're unique. Not so many fine. Definitely. Yeah, they're awesome. Simple. And in person, it's so much better. Oh, yeah. So pretty. All right. We got Maria in that 20, guys. Any other interest? Let Jenny know. I don't even think they'll worry about your clothes being wrinkled if you hang them on one of these. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're going to say soul to Maria. Oh, Maria, so sweet. Okay, so. Okay, sorry about that. Um, Hold on, no worries. I'm going, you know, I'm going to do a small Sapporo lot for this next. So, um, yes, Maria, you got to send uh, Nikki an email. Her email is down below on the screen. Yeah, it's right next to my name. And make sure you, you just tell me who you are, what your screen name is and stuff like that, because it gets a little confusing. And I get a host of email addresses <laughs> or email messages or eBay yeah. messages. Oh my gosh, like constantly 200 yep. plus a day at least. So, there Same with here. If I try to find, I'm like, look, I can't find your message. It's I'm like, seriously, I can't find your message, and I apologize. Mm -hmm. It happens a lot. Yep. Same here. I need. To, I probably <laughs> just need to make another, like, one. Just count, for yeah. Me. This next Sapporo lot is a little different. We've got a different shirt. It says Sapporo Original Be Draft Beer. It's on a Fruit of the Loom heavy cotton, extra extra large, so that's a little bit more forgiving. <laughs> We've got plain back, so everything's on the front here. 2XL, really nice shirt, brand new. Um, I will tell you that you'll probably want to wash this just from storage. You can see the creases, and um, I don't know if it's discoloration because I'm in the garage. I wish you could put it up there. Mm -hmm. It's probably just from the crease mark, so wash it before you wear it. It would, and if you were going to resell some of this 
we just love the fact <laughs> that they like it. It has crease marks in it. Yep. All right, there you go. So we'll, we'll do that. We'll do another hat. And we're going to start this at 20. And that includes shipping, so that's included. Uh, so you saw that, the hat. And it's adjustable back. You're not going to find these anywhere. These are from the Straight Up Factory. This is something that uh, probably the reps handed out. Mm -hmm. I used to be an alcohol rep way back when. And they the stuff that they would give you to, like, bribe your um, buyers, so crazy. So this is exactly what that is. Next up, we'll do... Another one of those really cool bottle top poppers. Sony, and this one's new in box. I'm going to leave it and I'll show you the one that it is. And they're made specifically for those kinds of bottles. And it looks like it would fit anything. You just stick it over the top of the glass bottle and pull your top right off. Really cool. You're not going to be able to find that. I think these are legitimate. Legitimately for like the bartenders. Done. Okay, so next. We'll do a lot of five of those keychains. And I showed them before, but we'll do it again. Um, as you can see, the little bottles of Sapporo. These are hard to find. They're vintage, so you're going to get five of those. And then I have one more of these extra large um, bottle top openers that are like plastic covered to give away. These are so cool. Hang it up. It's got the logo both sides. It's got that real tough plastic coating, you know, it's a little comfortable. So you're going to get that too. So for this lot... You've got this really ridiculously cool bottle opener, top popper, five keychains, one, two, three, four, five, and a hat. And a shirt. Really cool shirt. She likes out. One thing to mention, the keychains are also bottle openers. So give them away, resell them yourself. These are super cool. So cute. A little mini beer. And to top that off, we're going to add to the slot one of those. One more. This is our last one. Sapporo Premium Beer Mats. So like that, stick your drinks out on top of there, catches the spill, doesn't ruin the wood on your beautiful bar. Really cool. You're not going to be able to find these anywhere. So that's our last Sapporo lot. There's that black hat. It's new, still packaged, adjustable. Can opener. Five keychain bottle openers really cute and the pop top got this and then at 30 guys looking for 32. Really cool, one of a kind shirt. All right, guys. Anybody have interest? Let Janine know. If not, she will start counting it down. Going once, going twice. I like that big bottle opener. Guys, so cool. Yep. All 
All right. You're going to say so to Jonathan Alfaro. All right, Jonathan. Thanks again. Congratulations, Jonathan. Awesome. All right, congratulations. All right. Let's keep this auction train going. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Congratulations, Jonathan. Make sure you reach out to Nikki and send her uh, your information, and she will send you an invoice and get your stuff out to you. All right, guys. So for, my, for this line, I have a lot of kids' uh, shirts. So we'll start it off at 10. Let me show you guys what I got. This one is a size a small. The Legend of Zelda, Triforce Heroes. No back hit. Remember, these are all kids' shirts. We got this uh, Avengers Infinity. It's a size eight. A Spider Man. An Iron Man. Next, we have a size. So size large, size 10, 12. Star Wars. This next one, let me get. Oops, let me see what size it is. It is a size. Size medium, large. Yeah, this is uh, Eskimo Joe's. Read and go far. That's the front. This is the back. That's how much those we didn't succeed. <laughs> this next shirt is a size large also. I didn't do it. Didn't do it. Oops. Then we got this uh, size. What size is this? Size boy small. It's a Lamborghini slash Puma shirt. Does it have something? Oh, it's just a, just somewhere. How did you get? Hey, buddy. Shirt. That's the front. That's the back. And I still got another one. This is a size small. No, that was fine. Marie already bid on it. Lamborghini Austin. These are all kid sizes. I know my son came in right now. This is a size small. I had started the bit at 10, but I think Maria threw in 15. So, so uh, let's see. Let me count the shirt. That's one, two, three, four. Five, six, that's a lot. That's seven shirts right there. A lot of seven shirts, guys. These are kids' shirts. They're great, you know, to get them for, for resale. 
Okay, thank you, Maria. No, no, no problem, Janine. It's all good. Yep. Let me know if there's any other interest. If not, we will start counting it down. Yeah. So I try to bring you guys some different stuff every week, and I know I haven't brought kids shirts in a while, so I decided to make some today. Yeah, definitely. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Bart, man. What's up, buddy? What are you doing? Okay. You're doing good. I know. Say hi real quick to everybody. All right. No, no, no. You can't step over here because there's no room, buddy. Hey, I need you to go. Hey, go brush your teeth, please. Thank you. All right. Yeah, definitely. Ryan's in at 17. Thank you. All right. Janine's counting it down. Any other interests? Let us know. Let Janine know. Thank you, Joy. Yeah, he always comes in and says hi. He always wants to see what daddy's up to. All right, guys. Thank you, Maria. All right. Any other interests? Let us know. Not nah, Janine's counting it down. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, he actually helps me a lot all the time. So, all right. We're going to say so to Ryan. Congratulations, Ryan. Awesome, bye. I'll send these out tomorrow to you, buddy. Thank you, thank you. All right. Before I keep going with my other lots, let me time for do a free giveaway. I haven't done a giveaway in a while, so yeah, he is Misha. He's he's really polite. All right, I know I haven't done giveaway in a while, so I'm gonna still give away. I'm gonna give away three packs of 1992 baseball uh, upper deck baseball edition cards, brand new packs. Three of them, sealed, not tampered. They're sealed. So uh, once Janine drops the hearts in the chat, let me get a piece of paper here. I'll do uh, what Gary does and, and Tom. I'll pick somebody from the chat. I'll go up and down, up and down until we get a winner. You don't have to have bought anything. Everybody's uh, entered into it. So, so definitely uh, once Janine drops the hearts down, make sure... Uh, you guys put in the, the emoji with the sunglasses on. Yes. Hello, Stephen Shadrach. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, if it's your first time here, uh, do me a favor. Uh, there's something in the top of the chat to register. It takes two minutes, and then you're all set to go. All right, here we go. Janine drops the heart, so make sure you guys drop it, your emojis. I'm going to set the timer. All right. All right, set the timer already. So keep going, guys. Keep going. All right, going up. Going down, going up. I'm not even looking at the screen. Going up, going down. Going up, going down. Going up, going down. I'm going up, I'm going down. Going up. You guys keep dropping them. Until the thing rings, I'll stop. Who will win? Oh, Cat D. Oh, look at that. 
That is awesome. Congratulations, Cat B. You guys saw I wasn't looking. I was looking this way. So congratulations, Cat B. Yep. Congratulations, Cat B. I will send this with your order that you had to. So I will send that. Congratulations, Cat D. These are uh, minty fresh packs of 1992 Upper Deck cards. Hope you get some bangers in those. Congratulations. That is awesome. Thank you guys. Always appreciate the support. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. Let's get this auction train going, man. What else we got? Let's see. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who stopped by tonight. I really appreciate the support. Thank you, Nikki. Yeah, guys, Nikki had to get off already. Uh, so, you know, she didn't have a chance uh, to say goodbye. But uh, thank you, Nikki, for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the chat to settle. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm talking a little bit. But, uh, yeah, thank you, Nikki. I appreciate it. Uh, she will be back to join me and Louie, hopefully in another, another future time. But I definitely uh, had a great time having her on tonight. So thank you, Nikki. If you guys aren't subscribed to her, all her information is posted down below on the description. You guys follow her on Instagram or follow her on YouTube. Thank you for hanging with us, Nikki. That was a good uh, time. So yeah, you know, they're just going to go solo for a little bit more and then we'll call it a night too. So, all right, let's keep it going. In all fairness, all right. I know, you know, people are like, yeah, you know, we haven't seen you doing it in a while, but I can hold a fort down too. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. This, my lot that I'm bringing up next is a lot of 15 basketball cards. They're from 1995. These are 1995 upper deck cards. They're basketball cards. These are not graded. So these are, but they are sleeved up and uh, in top loaders. So you will receive them in good condition. So let me show you guys what I got. First one we got is Hakeem Olajuwon, Upper Deck Collector's Choice. Sorry, guys, trying to get it to focus a little bit. There you go. There's Hakeem Olajuwon. This next one we got is Grant Hill, the Detroit Pistons. Yep. Here is another Hakeem Olajuwon, another great player for the Houston Rockets. These are already, like I said, in penny sleeves and top floaters is uh Alonzo Morning. This next one you have is Anferni Hardway. By Slama Slama, yep. Next one we got is Reggie Miller. Another great basketball player. Reggie Miller. Then you got the great Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing. A lot of great Hall of Famers in this slot. Then we got uh, Alonzo Mourning. Then we got Jerry Stackhouse. Philly in the house. Jerry Stackhouse. And we got the Kembi Matambo. This one is, uh, let's see here. I think it's a two. Let me see. This one's a 1992 upper deck. I know, right? <laughs> right, Michael? We got the Kembi Matambo. We have another Jerry Stackhouse. I don't know. Let me see. 
No, he's not. <laughs> it looks like, oh yeah, he is. His left arm. He's going like this, but he's like, <laughs> I didn't notice that. Good eye, buddy. Good eye. We have uh, Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen. Then we got Sir Charles Barkley. It's sad that he didn't get to win uh, the NBA Finals. Chris Webber. And we have the Bulls Victory Tour, 95-96, February 2nd, 1996. And it's uh, Michael Jordan and Vladi Divac in the picture. So you're getting practically another Jordan card. With Bloody Divac in the background. The Hardy in at 25. And like I said, these are already in penny sleeves and in top loaders. They're in good condition. The corners are great. They're in great condition. Yep. So you got Michael Jordan. Here in the back, you got Michael Jordan and uh, Dennis Rodman. Double teaming somebody. The word. Dennis Rodman was awesome too. So let me see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's a total of 15 cards, guys. 15 cards. All right. Ryan says he's in at 27. Thank you, sir. <laughs> that is also <awesome>, Michael. <laughs> he couldn't hit the basket, huh? They were just clowning on him. <laughs> that is too funny. That's awesome, man. I love hearing uh, stories like that. That is awesome. I know, right? That's what I was about to say. He's probably getting mad. <laughs> That is awesome, though. Thanks for sharing that, Michael. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, we got Harley in at 30. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> that, must, that must have been just funny to watch, to be honest. That is so cool. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ryan. All right. Let's go. Oh, man, that is horrible. <laughs> oh man, that is too much. That's funny. Thanks for sharing that, Michael. Oh man, I like hearing uh, stories like that. All right, we're going once, we're going twice. In all fairness, we're going to say sold to Harley. Congratulations, Harley. You're welcome. Congratulations. I will ship those out to you tomorrow. Hopefully you get them by the weekend. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. All right, my next lot, I have a lot. Oh, you're welcome, Harley. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have a lot of seven knives. We'll start it off at $10 and we'll just let it rip. This first one is an Apache Ranger knife. 
Let me open these up and show you guys. Ponchi Grande. Oh, yeah, here he is. Look at that, Ponchi Grande. What's up, buddy? Oh, it's a knife, buddy. Yes, it's a uh, knife that adults use. What? So someone loves you and 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 it scars that as a knife. No, no one's gonna rob me. <laughs> no, these are for different things. Don't worry. Or maybe coming out. Yeah. All right. This next one is a Smith and Wesson. A Smith and Wesson knife. I'm trying to get it to focus. Focus. There you go. Smith and Wesson. There you go. Yeah, it's a Smith and Wesson special tactical. Next one we got is a Barracuda Tactical Knife. Barracuda Tactical Knife. Let me show you. The next one is a Frost Cutlery Park Ranger. This one actually comes with a little frost on it. You open it, knife's in here. Comes with a little pouch. So if you want to wear it like on your belt. So this is the knife here. It has the knife here and it has the dagger up here. Like to cut something. Yeah. Don't worry guys, no DNA. <laughs> I don't care, I'm being careful with these. Yeah, that's awesome, Michael. All right, oh, I forgot to put it in there. Yeah, this one comes with the, like I said, the belt case thing. So if you want to put it with your belt, whenever you go hiking or you go camping. The next one we have is an elite guff hook tactical. Oh, and it's an actual, like the other one that I just showed. So you'll get two of the same knives. Cool. It's the same. It's the same knife. So you're getting two of the same knives. So that is awesome. If you're using these for resale, it'll be easy for you to list. That's awesome. Yep, exactly. Yeah, my uncle used to be the same way. He used to collect knives, collect swords and all that good stuff. So, all right. Next one I have is this uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Dale Earnhardt Jr. knife. You see the alcohol they don't hard junior number tres. And then we got this one that comes with the little case too. Yeah, 
<laughs> I know, right? This is also at number three. So this is the last knife uh, in the lot. This one's a Frost uh, Cultury also. This one does have some wear, a little bit of wear. But the knife's in good condition still. That's the front and the back. It's from the... Yep. I know, right? This guy bought a lot of pins at the flea market. Too many. And put it to you this way, the guy had a little uh, basket full of pins. And Jonathan just went up to him and said, how much for the whole thing? The guy was like not even expecting it. That was funny, though. All right, we got Jonathan in at 25. Any other interest? Eh, what's the collect cash? <laughs> You can never have enough pins, yep. Definitely. If you guys haven't went out to the flea markets with us, you guys should hang out with us one day, man. All right, last call, guys. Let us know if you're still in or out. So we got Jonathan in at 25. A lot of uh, cards. <laughs> They're still in your truck. Oh man. All right, guys, we're going twice. I can't these all words your truck part. <laughs> You guys are funny. Oh, man. All right. In all fairness, we're going to say so to Jonathan for 30 bolas. Congratulations, brother. No problem, bro. Congratulations. All right. <laughs> Man, it's funny because uh, right now, be when uh, Nikki was showing something, uh, my son was like, "How come I didn't hear that?" Ding, 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 ding. I'm like, "Oh, Louis not on today." Oh yeah, I was 25. Yeah, you're all right, brother. I was like, "Yeah, Louis not not in here." He goes, "No wonder it sounds so quiet in here." <laughs> Even my son knows when Louis on. All right, guys, I have another lot. Oh, I have actually a couple of uh, car lots that I'm going to bring. I have a, a whole case, okay? I'm not saying just a little case. I'm talking about a case. <laughs> case. Of 1990 Donruss Rack Packs. The 72... There's 72 rack packs of 48 cards per pack. If you guys are interested in me bringing that. Like I said, I just opened it right now just to kind of show you guys. But let me know. Look at this. 1990 Donner's Puzzle and Cards. This is the next part. You guys are in? All right, just because of the weight of it, I'm gonna start it off at forty dollars. But look, these are what this is what you're getting. The board's still in there. 
Boom. Just because of the weight of it, I'm going to start it off at 40. But you got, that's like, oh uh, man, this is heavy. Start me off, guys. It's a whole case, so you guys know you can't go wrong with that. Oh, looks like Jonathan came in. So I would ship, I'm going to ship this box inside. I'm going to put this in another box and also bubble wrap it just to make sure that you guys, it gets to where it's going to get in one piece. I don't care if I have to use a, the whole roll of bubble wrap, but you guys know how I do it. It's a whole case, guys. <laughs> Hardy's in at 50. Five. Hardy comes back in at 65. Yeah, it's a whole case, guys, you know. I try, like I say, I try bringing you guys stuff, and I've been opening up the totes, and I needed to bring it in. And is it at 70? Jonathan's in at 75. Yeah, so you could do these. You could sell the whole case. You could sell them in lots, whatever. Or if you're going to keep them for personal, you should get some good cards. It's a 1990, so... You guys know what's in there. You got some Griffey Jr. Hopefully you get the Griffey Jr. in there. Ken Griffey Jr. It's okay. So I'm assuming it should be in there. Maybe you'll get one. Maybe you get two. You never know. Oh, yeah. You know how I am, Caddy. I don't, I don't mind uh, wrapping it. If I have to use a whole bone, I do it. But to me, is make sure the stuff gets to my customers in the same way they see it. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate it, man. Harley's in at 120. <laughs> see, that's a good way to do it, Jonathan. He says when he's running low on bubble wrap, he just orders something from me. Yup. Oh, man, that sucks. I hope that wasn't mine, Michael. Because I actually don't leave my stuff in the sun. I actually, once I pack it, I take it to the post office and, you know, it's been dropped off in there. But, yeah, it's true. I've, I've had that uh, happen to me a few times also. Oh, it was mine. Ah. Thank you, Harley. I appreciate it. Oh, I see, Michael. But I didn't leave it in the sun, though, so I don't know why it uh, it did that. So, yeah, Amber does some great rabbit too. Okay, but like I said, I don't know why it would be in the sun, though. I don't, I don't leave packages out in the sun, so that just doesn't make no sense. But maybe they left them out there somewhere, or maybe with the heat. But all right, I appreciate the feedback, brother. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe just have to change on the on the labels, maybe. All right, we got Jonathan in at one thirty. Good night, Lou Raider. Yeah, Gary does some great rapping too, Christina. Hello, Christina. He sure does. All right, Jonathan's in at one thirty, guys. Any other interests? Let me know. Anybody else in or out? Let Janine know so we can move on to the next lot. Thank you, Harley. I know, right, Paul? It's melting the labels. Yeah, that too. You're right on that, Funky Town. Because I know it's not happening here in my house because I ship out you know, packages all the time. It is the first time I've actually heard of that happening. So, yeah, it's been hot out here. Yeah, definitely. All right, we're going once to Jonathan Alfaro, going twice.
Yep. So I'm saying I like bringing you guys the wheels, deals, and steals, guys. Yeah, we sure are, Maria. It's been cooling down a little bit already, so. <laughs> I know, right, Mike? I know, Michael. Uh, all right. In all fairness, we're going to say sold to my bro, Jonathan Alfaro. Congratulations, brother. Congratulations. Ah, oh, thank you, brother. All right, man. We're already hitting the three-hour mark. That was fast. Sheesh. That thing just flies today, man. Like, man, that was fast. Maybe just flew because I'm not hearing the ding, 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 ding. Oh, yeah, definitely, Maria. I always uh, send, uh, like I said, I always get toys all the time and try to wrap them and ship them. You know, I like to ship the stuff the way I like to receive them, so. Yeah, you're right, Kat D. Time flies when you're having fun. Exactly. The only good thing is that I don't hear that ringing in my ear from the ding 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 from Louis Cowbell. But other than that, it's cool. It's having a good night, good time with you guys. Fire lots move faster. Yep, you're sure right. And I also tried something different tonight where I let Nikki do three and then I did three and then kind of probably going to stick to that format to kind of help move things uh, along for everyone. No, not exactly. Usually when Louis does the, the, the shirt lots, I go to the bathroom, I go walk the dog. I could probably go down a 7-Eleven, get me a, a couple of 805s and then come back. You know, and then I and he's still on. <laughs> that's why that's why my sons are like, you know, Louis's not on tonight. You know, he sure is not. I'll do anyone that lives near. I know, right? Michael, so someone could steal that cowbell. He actually broke the bell once and he fixed it. And then uh, I know it broke a second time and I, I don't know if he got a new one, you know, or not, but it's just crazy, though. Yep. All right, guys. So, what do you guys want to see, man? You guys want me to do some more cards? I have some more boxes of cards, I have some shirts I could bring out, you know. Yeah, that's true, Caddy. He'll be heartbroken. He would. Then I will feel like an asshole, and then I'm going to have to buy him a new cowbell, you know? Yeah, he'd be heartbroken. Definitely. Yeah, I think, <laughs> Michael, I know, right? I'm just going to have this. I'm just going to click live. I'm going to tell Louis, I'm going to go have dinner. I'll see you in two hours, you know? Hot Wheels. Yeah, I could do some Hot Wheels, too. Take the guy off. All right. I'll pull out some Hot Wheels right now, and then we'll do some shirts, and then I'll do some box cards, and we'll keep it rolling. We're going to freestyle it. Look at that. Got a bunch of bubble. bubble, 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 bubble. So you guys know we're just freestyling it. So gone, gone instead of the cop. Also, he's so upset. He would be lost without his damn bow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's in cop out country. Oh yeah, you got that right. Oh yeah, he's picking up some fire stuff. Oh yeah, this one the two. Four. I'm just pulling them out out of the box, guys. Bear with me. Oh, yeah, I'll pull this one in here for you guys. They're awesome. I'm trying to bring you guys some good stuff. Oh, we'll do this one. Two, one, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. All right, we'll start off with these, and then if we get going, we'll get oh. twenty. Who's bidding twenty on? I know, Louie. <laughs> I was all like, I heard Hot Wheels. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, I'm confused. Uh, what's up, buddy? Did I just hear Hot Wheels? Yeah, buddy. But you have enough Hot Wheels already, okay? <laughs> hmm? Well, hang on. Daddy's almost done, okay? Yeah. Okay, I'll go talk to you in a bit, okay? Yeah. Okay. Are you already? I'm okay. sell something to someone already. Yeah. Daddy's gonna finish, okay? All right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah. All right, let's get it started then. Maria's already in at 20 on the Hot Wheels, so let's go. These are 2008 Holiday Rods Hot Wheels. Look at that. That's a nice. Look at that. North Pole Customs. That's awesome right there. I know. They're just going. Don't worry. I'm going to bring you guys. I know we've had <laughs> so much Simpson related stuff tonight with especially Bart. Bart. So I had to bring Homer in here. It's so a Hot Wheels Simpsons for 2014. This is called the Homer. The Homer. Homer. The next we got this one. This, let me see what year. This is a 2017 Hot Wheels Scooby Doo. This is a 1967 Austin minivan. This next one we have is a Hot Wheels. This one is from 2016. <laughs> this is a Star Wars Highway Hauler. This is a Star Wars Hauler. This, this is pretty heavy, actually. It's a the badass car. It's all metal. Yep. Okay, so we here. The next one we got is it's a Scooby Doo and Batman. The Brave and the Bold. This is the Batmobile. This one's from 2017. This is the Batmobile. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the rock right here, huh? <laughs> And then this one is the Batman Arkham Asylum Batmobile. It's another Batman car. Pretty badass. We want the rock. Rock. We want the rock. Oh. Then we got the Hot Wheels last production run, a final run model. This is the 1999 Final Run car. So it actually comes in the, inside another box. Hello, Celestine. I know, right? They have so many. This is number 6 of 12. 
It's a nice. It's the stu the studs Blackhawk. So this is a nice car. I like this car. Next, I have a Nestle Quick Racing Jeff Green number ten car. This is actually autographed. I don't know who Hayden is, but but whoever buys it could be Hayden. But it's autographed by Jeff Green. The Hot Wheels Racing Nestle. Nestle Nest Quick Racing Jeff Green. Yeah. Let's see any other interest guys? I think so. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need two more. Come here, Hot Wheels. Where are you hiding? Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Okay. Cool. All right, we got another one too. <laughs> All right, I'll count them all together right now. This one is a Hot Wheels. It's the Gran Turismo Pagani Waira. It's uh, from PlayStation. This is 2015. So you see it has the PlayStation logo right here for the Gran Turismo. Yeah, I'll count the cars right now. And the next one is uh, the 62 Chevy Custom. This one is 2007. Look at this truck. This is a 2007 Hot Wheel. All right, let me count them real quick to see how many you got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'll throw in one more. Side here. Make sure they don't, they don't tumble down. All right. Yeah. Well, this is going to be number 10. It's a matchbox, but it's a night rider car. Probably comes in at 55. We got that night rider. This one is from. 1998. Yep, I like this this car. Yeah, I used to watch this. You will be getting Kit. K-I-T-T. -T. Yep, so I'll throw that in in the mix. I'll put this over here. Since we're at 55, I'll keep adding some more. You know how we do it. <laughs> Uh oh, Maria's in at 60. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if Hasselhoff uh, sings uh, that car, but um, that'll be funny, though, if he did. If it had like a little button in it, press it, it sings. I'm Michael Knight. This one is a Hot Wheels special edition Disney Cars. This is from 2005. The Valvoline this is a special edition car. So you guys are getting some vintage cars here, too. I want the rock. I want a rock. rock. Dun, dun. All right, guys. We're at 70 with, with Harvey Handler. I'm going to throw this one in here. The Hot Wheels Three Musketeers car. What up, ATL Flipper? How you doing, bro? This is a 1955 Chevy panel. It's 
So we, I'm throwing this in there. The Three Musketeers Hot Wheels. 1955 Chevy Pano. This one's from 2014. So seven years old. This is awesome. Three Musketeers, Three Musketeers. All right, so I'll throw that in there for Hardy. Any other interest, guys, let me know. I'll keep digging. I got a whole box here. Let me know. Then we also have a, another Gran Turismo uh, Lamborghini Gallardo. There's another PlayStation. Has the PlayStation logo there. The Hot Wheels Gran Turismo. Lamborghini Gallardo. And he says, sure, I'll throw it in. These are awesome cars. These are this is an awesome lot of uh, Hot Wheels. All right, we got Caddy at 75. We got Harley Hunter in at 85. So I'm gonna throw in this Volkswagen Kukumbi. This is from 2013. That's a badass Volkswagen bus. Look at that. Look in the back. It has a small tire in the front, and it has a back, the big back tire there. Thank you, Maria. Trying to bring you guys some wheels, deals, and steals, guys. Trying to bring you guys some good stuff just digging in here. Yeah, that bus is, that bus is awesome. I think I have another one. Just stop finding it. See, this one is a 2010. This is a, a high weight performance super lift. <laughs> this is a super lift. The 56 flash cider. Look at this. It's lifted with big wheels and it has all the chrome in the bottom. <laughs> all right, Maria says I'll throw 90. Okay. Do that. I'll put this aside. Oh, this is here. What other one did I get from here? <laughs> Kathy says she's getting hungry. Next one is a. Uh... All right, Hardy's in at 100. Thank you, Hardy. I'll keep adding you. This next one is a Chevy Silverado. That's a hot, the hot trucks. This one is from, let me see what year it is, from 2015. Look at that. That's an awesome Chevy Silverado. It's already dropped with the big wheels on it. The Rams is ready to go. All right. Any other interest, guys? Let us know. Stress eating, I know, right? 
All right, this is a 2015. This is a Porsche 356 A Outlaw. This is a night burner, what they call it. <laughs> All right. Any other interest, guys? Uh, let Jenny know. I threw in a couple more. So I'm going to lose focus. There you go. All right. You guys want, I can give you guys a count of how many there is. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's sixteen cars in here. I mean, I could throw in some containers in here. I said I'm still digging. Any other interest, guys? No. Last call, guys. Oops, I, didn't get up I know, right? Celestine, we just need the cowbell. Thank you, Caddy. Appreciate it. We do need the cowbell, but Louie's not here today. All right, we're going once. Hardy's in the lead right now. Hardy's going to get some great hot wheels. That motorcycle one was awesome. Yep, that's true. Then you get the autograph one, too. The Jeff Green autograph. Uh-oh, hold the phone. Ella says, hold on, not so fast. Uh-oh. Yeah, like I said, this is included in that, too. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to keep digging. Let's keep digging. Let's keep digging. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Some of these cars are awesome. This one's a 2008. It's a custom 1962 Chevy. Since Ella came in, I'm going to throw another one of these uh, awesome trucks in there. This is an awesome uh, custom 62 Chevy. Look at that. It's nice. Look at that. It even got the surfboard in the back. Look at that. Surfboard included with this truck. Hey, Sal, how you doing, buddy? Look at that. It even has the damn, the, I see the damn, the surfboard in the back. Wow. I didn't even notice that till right now myself. All right. We got Harley in at 120. Next, I'm going to throw this one in too, is a Mazda Repu. This one is a 2017. Who remembers these little uh, trucks back in the days? I remember my uncle's friend had one of these trucks. Look at that. Uh, some collectors do sell a scene and some don't. Some of them like to keep them with the board and everything. And there's some that actually have uh, plastic cases of uh, little squares where they put them in and they display. They actually display them. Hey, Joe, how you doing, buddy? So, yeah. So I'll throw this in there since we're at 120. Any other interest, guys? Let Jenny know. If not, she will start counting it down once again. Unless someone decides to come in and try to snipe. Throw you guys in some awesome card cars, I mean, sorry. Got the Scooby-Doo car. 
We have the Star Wars carro. We got the little Mazda repo truck. Taking it back. Just showing you guys how skinny it's counting down. And you get the, the Jeff Green autograph. Let's see. I'm counting one, two, three, four. Oh, Ella comes back in at 1.30. Yeah, I can still keep counting them. That's where we're going. There are some bangers on this slot. Let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12. And with this little bus. Well, 13, 14, with the three musketeers, 65 Chevy panel, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There's 19, but I'll throw one more in just to make it an even 20. You got the hollow. There's the holiday rods. You got that motorcycle. That is awesome right there. That's the moto. <laughs> then we got Homer Simpson. The oh, this one's called the Homer. 2014. So this is seven years old. Yes, and then we have the cars. This is a special edition Hot Wheels. Ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding. Then we got everyone's favorite. I better stop before I get ding for that. Knight Rider Star Car Collection Kit. Michael. What do you mean you need to go to the bathroom, Michael? So this is 19. I'm not throwing one more to make it an even 20 for you guys. Let me get another hit from the other side. Get another banger. Yeah, it is, uh, Mark. This one is called the Fair Lady 2000. This one's from 2015. So this is a pretty awesome car. It's called the Fair Lady. Legends of Speed. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty awesome car. Hello, Jennifer. How you doing? Hopefully everything's uh, okay going with your family. Yep. I know everyone always says, you have so many damn Hot Wheels. Ella says, I got to drop in a $10 more. All right. We're going to keep adding. You guys know how I do it. You guys put this. I keep adding. We get some more bangs out here. All right, this one's a Volkswagen Brasilia. This one's a 2015. Look at that. Thank you, Harley. Yeah, I just threw this in because uh, Ella came in, so I need a, I need to lace her up with some Hot Wheels. You know me. I don't. I like to lace people up and hook people up with with stuff all the time. Hey, Bobby, how you doing? No, nah, man, it's still early. We've only been on for three and a half hours. We're good, bro. We're hanging out, having a great time. 
Gonna say sold to Ella for 150. Congratulations, Ella. You got some awesome cars in this slot. That Knight Rider car, whoo. I love that one. Brings back memories. Oh yeah, should I put this one? Yep, this one goes with it too. All right. Good night, Ella. Ella says she's off to bed. <laughs> Ooh, that's a total of 21 cars in there. Bangers. Those are some awesome cars. I mean, wow. Congratulations, Ella. I'm glad you were able to get some. Yep. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys. Let's see. Uh, well, what else do you guys want to see? I have a couple of boxes still, cards, sealed cards. <laughs> I have some more shirts. You guys want to see some more shirts? And we'll probably just do one or two more lots and call it a night. Yes, it's uh, good to see everyone still hanging out tonight on this Tuesday night. Uh, like I said, everyone's asking, uh, where's Lou yet? <laughs> uh, you know, and uh, <laughs> Kathy's like, whatever, shirts. Whatever I call it, I lose. What the fuck? <laughs> I know someone was asking about the rock. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Let's see shirts? Sure, I'll do shirts. Why not? Who are you? Step all over the place. This is All right, guys, give me one momento. You called out. Okay, hold on. Did I miss something? I know, right? <laughs> hey, Patrick, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, Louis was grounded for excessive use of the cowbell. He ignored the calls and all the stuff that Guru Bean said, and he didn't listen. I told him they were going to ding, but he didn't want to listen. I know, she's a shirt with drops tonight because Louis's not here. Look, guys, I have two shirts that are in plastic right now. I'm going to open. I don't even know what's in them. I'm just going to throw them out there. Just so you guys know, I'm not being stingy with my shirts. I'm bringing you guys whatever's in here. So let me get a few of them out. We'll get them out. we get it rock and rolling. I know we're going to have some good bangers in here. What shirt is this? Is this inside out? Yeah, that's why it's so quiet, because there's no... Oh, I remember this shirt. I just saw... Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. We're going to get this lit tonight. This is going to be another mixed lot of shirts, different sizes. You can see, guys, I'm just freestyling it. I'm not, I don't have to have it prepared, because I didn't think I was going to be on this long, but... It's all good. We're still hanging. Look at that. Here's another one. Good to see you, Joe. Jesus. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to move along here. We're just getting these out of it. Come on, Joe. Don't disappoint. Woo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Louis, he's on cowbell timeout. Sure, 
Let's dig. I'm digging, guys. I'm digging. Nope, not that one. Oh, yeah, this will be a good shirt to bring. Yeah, guys, you guys can start blind bidding, bidding on the shirts. I'm bringing some bangers, so. You guys know I'm going to do the damn thing. Oh, yeah. Let's see, one, two, three, four, six, seven. Let's pick a couple more shirts. Oh, I got another one here. Eight. Nine. Ten. <laughs> All right, we'll start off with these. All right, guys. Oh, Maria's already starting the blind bids. Thank you. Thank you, Ella. I will ship that out to you tomorrow. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, let's get started. This is a 2X. It's called Dallas Low Lives. It doesn't have no back hit. But it is, like I said, it's a 2X. It's on a Gildan tag. Okay, let me put these on this side. <laughs> then we got a 2X. Okay, I don't resell. Oh, I saw well, so wood. <laughs> this is a, a Hardy Davidson 2X. There's a legendary. Is that a Alpha Mount this one? And it's on an official Hardy Davidson tag. We also have a, a size medium Hardy shirt. Thank you, thank you. From Montana. All right, we got Handler in at 30. Next, we have a, a size large. Hey, Roy, how you doing, buddy? Up in smoke shirt. Cheech and Chong. That's the front hit. That's from the movie Up in Smoke. No back hit. No back hit, just has a front hit. Yeah, Harley's still hanging out. There's the up in smoke. Up in smoke. This next one is a size extra large on a food of a loom tag. Motorcycles, now that's life. Live to ride, ride to live. And this next one is a size large. It's on a Pro Delta Pro 8. It's another historic 62 Route 66 shirt. An awesome shirt. <laughs> All right. Harley comes in at 40. <laughs> I know, Bobby, right? He's like, where's your license? Isn't it on the bumper? Did it fall off? This next shirt is... Oh, let me see the size on this real quick. It's a size small. Yep, up in smoke. And we got... Can't talk. Eating. This is actually a tank top shirt. We got Homer eating a big donut, and it's an official Simpsons. It's on, a, on an official Simpsons tag. Come on. You're not getting it right. Focus, Lewis. Focus. It's a Forever 21 slash Simpsons collaboration shirt. It 
it's never ending. Then we have a Marvel shirt. That the, what is it? Iron Man? This one's an, an official Marvel shirt. Uh, tag, I mean, sorry. So, it's never ending, I know. I hear you on the never ending. All right, we got Harley in at 40. Any other interest, guys? Let me know. I'll keep pulling. What else we got in here? I'm trying to pull some big kids' bid. <laughs> exactly, right? Big kids, niños grandes. Which one is this one? This one's the kids. Next one I have is a size 2X. Todd Gurley. That's the hit in the back. Come on, guys. Any other interest? I'll throw some more shirts. I'm digging. Look, you guys are seeing me. I'm just pulling out of the tote. This is a, the Harley Davidson shirt. This is a size medium. This is actually not a t-shirt. It's an actual bun. It's a bun shirt. It's actually on a, on a Harley Davidson tag. That's the back. Does it have anything? Just has the Harley Davidson motorcycles on on the side hit there. I know. Uh oh, Jonathan comes back in at fifty. Yep. All right, let's keep digging. Plus one shirts. We had some other shirts. Oh, give me a bag. And I found another bag. Let's see what's in this. Uh, oh. Definitely. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do now. You guys like wrestling, right? We got this DX, Degeneration X shirt. It's on an official WWE tag. And it has a saying on the in the back that I'm not gonna say, but I'm sure you guys know what it means. So I'll throw that in there. Thanks, man. I like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. This is a size large. Good night, Wonder Woman. This is a DX shirt. All right, we got Jonathan in at 50, guys. Any other interests? Let Jenny know. Yep. I threw in that Generation X shirt. <laughs> Kathy, I know Kathy has an invitation to come uh, digging through my totes. Just got to set up a, a, a day of time to do that. Oh, it will be soon, Kathy. I'll count them right now. Let me just uh, look through one more shirt that I have. Let me count them real quick. Put these aside here. Let's see. That's, ooh, man, they all just tumbled down. Oops. Mountain, mountain, mountain. Let me count them real quick. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven shirts. I can keep going. I have a banger I could throw up right here. I'll show you guys this much. 2004 tour. I got one banger. Any other interest, guys? That's the count right there. Anybody who wants to see the banger, throw down a bid and we'll do it. I've had this shirt for a while now. All right. Any more interest? Let us know. Got these in that 50. All right. I'm going to throw this one in too. It's a full print. The front print only. Jonathan's out. Thank you, sir. All right. I'm going to bring this out. People always say, Luis, but why do you do what you do? I'm all like, because I can do it. This is a size extra large. That's in a food, food excuse me. And an old school Fruit of the Loom tag. Look at that. That's old school Fruit of the Loom tag right there. If you guys know anything about vintage teas and all that good stuff, and I know I, I've been collecting some vintage teas for a while. But like I said, I like to open up the totes and I like to share what I got. So here we go. The Grateful Dead shirt, 2004 tour. Look at the back. It's full tie-dye shirt. It's a Grateful Dead shirt. You guys know about Grateful Dead vintage shirts. You guys know they could be worth some good money. This is a size extra large. And it's in great condition. There's no rips or tears on it. It's been sitting in the, in the plastic bag the whole time, so it's been protected. Mark says, sheesh, I like that shirt. Give me that shirt. Look at that. You can't go wrong with the Grateful Dead shirt. Awesome band. Great. I love their shirts. Like I said, I've been opening the totes, and this is what I'm finding. So you guys know if I'm opening totes and I'm finding this kind of stuff, you can only imagine what I got in there. Saigon Tire 75. Roy says, shit, I want some of that action too. Yep. Like I said, let me show you guys the tag. It's on a vintage Fruit of a Loom tag. So you guys know it's a vintage. Whoa, Maria comes in with the Benji. She says, I ain't playing tonight. So we're throwing that in there. Now we got an auction. So you know what that means? That means I got to keep opening bags. Where's that other shirt? I have another shirt right here. Hold on. This one, oh, is this one here? No, it wasn't this one. What did I do with the shirt? Oh, here it is. Uh, not Star Trek stuff uh, right now. Here comes the local, yep. Here comes the crazy, crazy. I know you guys have heard Louis talk about wrestling shirts and how wrestling shirts are hot right now especially vintage ones 
But when you have a chance to get a shirt of this guy, he just retired a couple months ago. Talking about a badass shirt. The official tag. It's not screen printed. It has the official tag on it. So I'm going to throw this in there, in the mix. The Undertaker shirt. <laughs> Zygon Tiger's like, dude! Mark, you know we saw a lot of these shirts when we've been to the flea markets and all that good stuff, and I'm bringing the fire, bro. Like Louis told me, bring that fire tonight, Louis. Bring it. And I'm bringing it right now. That Undertaker shirt with the tag on it. Look at that. I'm going to put it right here. Boom. We got Maria in that Benji. So there we go, guys. If you guys want it, fire. You guys got back to back fire right there. Grateful Dead shirt and now the Undertaker shirt. Yeah, Maria's been there. Exactly. She knows. You know, I'm bringing the bangers to you guys. You guys have been good to me, supporting me. So this is my way to thank everyone and bring you guys some heat. Like I said. To me, I like to give the wheels, deals, and steals, you know? So this is what I'm doing right now. And I've been doing it all night, so it doesn't make any difference. So, all right. Anybody else? Yeah, even Janine says those two last shirts are bank. Exactly. Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen shirts. So you're getting twelve good shirts, and then you're getting two banger shirts. The other shirts are awesome shirts. I know, right, <laughs> Michael? <laughs> like I said, you know, I'm throwing that Grateful Dead shirt in here which is this one. It's a tie-dye, and it's original, and it's vintage. I showed the tag already. Yeah, whoever gets this lot with that Grateful Dead shirt, I can almost guarantee you what the bid is at right now. This is what you get for that shirt. But like I said, wheels, deals, and steals. I like doing that for you guys, and that's the way I've been since day one. And you got the Undertaker shirt. With the tag. Those are the two bangers right there. You guys know those shirts are selling right now. Yeah, so it seems all like you're going to make some money on that banger. All right. Dory says, I'll drop one $10 on that. Thank you, Dory. Yeah, we keep going. I, could, I still got another tote behind the curtain I could just pull out real quick. We'll keep going. I know I have some more bangers in there, too. What do I have in here? Let me open this. What is this? Oh, Zygon says, oh, it's about 120. All right. Yeah, guys. You guys know about these shirts. These shirts are awesome. I'm just trying to bring the deals to you guys, you know? That's how we do it. I know, right? We're keeping this one hour tea lot in memory of Louie. This is a Brooklyn mint size large shirt. Brooklyn's finest. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Look at that. Who better than represent tonight than Brooklyn's finest in the house? Biggie Smalls, Notorious B.I.G. This is on a Brooklyn Mint tag. Not screen printed. Brooklyn Mint. It says it's a size large, but to be honest with you, this looks like a bigger size. I think it fits. Look at this. I think it fits me. I think it's just mislabeled. 
It says it's a size large. So we got to throw Brooklyn's Finest in the mix. Notorious B.I.G. So now it's Big Papa. Yeah, Louis goes for two hours, not me. <laughs> and I like that it has, look at that. I don't know if you guys, see, I just saw that right now. Let me show you guys. Look at the bling in his watch. He actually has bling on that watch. That's sick. That is a sick shirt. Michael said, call the fire department. Yeah, I think it is a big and tall. All right, we're at 150. Give me one minute, guys. I have another box. I forgot I have this box. It's full. When I tell you I got full boxes of shirts, I got shirts for days. Yep, digging in the and digging in the boxes and the totes. Then <laughs> he says she's screaming inside. All right, let's throw out some more fire. Let's see which one should I throw at you guys? Let's throw some fire, fire. What do you got in here? Well, let's see what we got. All right. Oh, this is a 2X. Uh, Bob Marley. No more trouble. It's a Bob Marley shirt. <laughs> this is a 2X on a Zion Rootswear tag. Not screen printed, but a tag. We got Mr. Bob Marley. No more trouble. Booyah. <laughs> Fucking Tom Collect. <laughs> Throw the kids room to grab some more shirts. Nah, bro. You guys know behind this, I have all the totes here. So I have enough to go for days, bro. I'm hooking you guys up tonight. Most definitely. Got this Harley Davidson shirt, size large. Look at this. Marvin the Martian. That's the back hit. Appleton. Tennessee. This one's on a Harley Davidson tag. Yeah, guys. I'm showing shirts. You guys pay attention. Get an education. You guys will get some of these. Look at that. Boom. That's an awesome. Definitely. All right, guys. You guys want to keep anyone, anyone else is interested, guys? Let me know. I still got a couple of bangers in here. Like I said, I'm 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 throwing in bangers. I'm not throwing in, you know, random just whatever shirts. I'm giving you guys some good quality stuff for resale. This is that hard shirts. These more hard shirts. All right. I'm gonna say going once to Maria. Oh, hold the phone. Dory says, not so fast, guys. She says she wants to see more. All right. Let's keep digging. This one is what year is this? 2008. This is a size, this is a size small, but let me show you guys. Live your light, Santana. 
You guys love Carlos Santana? This is one of his concert shirts from 2008. This is on an official Santana tag. Not screen printed, but in this honest, this is also his official merchandise. So we're getting a real deal here with uh, Carlos Santana. Yeah, it's a nice size, nice. Shirt. Okay, that's a Spanish shirt. What else I got? Oh, damn! I forgot I had this shirt. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> yeah, guys, dude, if you guys spin it up, I got this banger that's gonna come up right now. I just saw it right now. Sorry, guys, I'm thinking out loud, but oh yeah. <laughs> what size is this? It's a size large. I know Janine is, Janine is losing it. This is 2015. Concert shirt. Motley Crue, final tour with Alice Cooper. Got Motley Crue and Alice Cooper. And the Ratkins, the final tour. This is fire. If this was my size, I will keep it. But it's not. So it's going in the pile with whoever gets this lot. Whoo! Man. I'm telling you, we're bringing, wish there were, there were two lots. That's just one lot. I mean, dude, we could. <laughs> let me know if there's any more inches with this lot, and then we'll keep going. I have, like I said, look. I have a full box. Full. Well, we can do another lot. So, yeah, it's hot in here. I'm already sweating. Papa, you give me a bottle of water from right here, please. Thank you, baby. Yeah, my, I already told my son to give me a water. You hanging in there, Rock? He's a hell yeah. Fist bump. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Yeah, man, I need some water. Ah. Oh, yeah, I need some agua. Ah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I got some agua. Thank you, guys. Woo. Yeah, Maria's, Maria's in at 170. All right, Dory says we'll do 180. All right, cool. Let's keep it coming. You guys like wrestling shirts? Goldberg. Who's next? This is a size large, and I'm telling you, it's on a vintage. Food of a loom tag. Remember how I showed you guys the Grateful Dead one? This one's on a food of a loom tag as well. There's a banger with Goldberg. Who's next? I know, inventory, right? The Motley Crew was a size. Uh, hold on. I think it's a size. It was not a big size, Mark. It's a size small. No, no, no. I'm sorry. It's a size large. Yeah, size large. Sorry about that. All right. Maria says she's out. Thank you, Maria.
Appreciate it. Gonna say going once. This is a nice lot of shirts. And it's free shipping, exactly. That makes the deal even sweeter. Dory's gonna get a great deal just with those two bangers. Oh, hold on. Roy comes in at 190. He said, I heard Goldberg. I can hear the chants. Goldberg. Goldberg. He heard the chants. He knew it. Dory says, we got. All right, two Benjis. Let's keep going. Got another Hardy Davidson shirt. This is a size extra large. This is an extra large. Yeah, let me just show the shirt, Janine. You know me, I like to throw in another shirt. All right. <laughs> I like to throw in, like I said, she came in, I, I threw in another shirt. Woo! I know. I think this is going to be the last one of the night because, man, that is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I could do another one. That's fine. <laughs> Let me write massive shirt. Oh, you know what? I'll just put Grateful Dead. Grateful Dead shirt lock. <laughs> Make it to the two hour mark. I know, right? And that's not without Louie not being here. <laughs> so let's see. It says my cowbell is broken. Last call, guys. <laughs> Marie says, I'm still out laughing out loud. All right. Sounds good. Oh, man. This is crazy. But, yeah, I like bringing you guys some awesome deals. Going once or going twice, Janine says, let's finish this lot, Luis. It's already past the four-hour mark. Thank you, Roy. Jonathan says he's sitting on his hands. Amazing lot. Yeah, it is. Like I said, that Grateful Dead shirt is awesome. And so is that Undertaker shirt. <laughs> Tony says she's Diet Pepsi wasted. All right, we're going to say sold to Dory. Congratulations, Dory. I will ship this out to you manana. Awesome buy. Sold. Yes, you got it, Dory. You held the high bid. Congratulations. Yep, that's an awesome, awesome lot. Yep, exactly. Awesome. I hope you make some great profit off this lot and you make some good in, you know, return on your investment. Thank you. Thank you, Dory. All right, guys. Whoo, damn. Yep. Hopefully, the Grateful Dead shirt pays for your whole lot. Exactly. And the rest is just profit. Oh, man. Whew. Even my son's like, Dad, what are you doing? You're going crazy. I'm like, No, I'm good. I wish I was chopped and wasted. <laughs> All right, guys. That's the awesome way to end. Of the night, right? I know you guys are probably like more, 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 more. Okay, I'm gonna save these uh, Ziploc bags. Look, I have those Ziploc bags. I have the shirts in. Thanks, Janine. Jonathan says, keep going. Maria says, more, more. Janine says, great auction, Luis. <laughs> yeah, that Molly Crew shirt was awesome. I forgot I had that shirt. 
Thanks, Tom. Yeah. Nah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a night already. It's been well I'll do one last slot. All right, guys. I will. You guys have been awesome with me. You guys have You guys are talking about Dwayne Johnson right there? Everybody keeps asking about <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my wife's all like, they're asking about The Rock? I'm like, yeah. He's looking all, he, that's my bodyguard right there. He watches my back. Huh? What is it? Exactly. <laughs> Let's see, what shit is this? I know, right? All right, guys, let me get, uh, give me a minute or two. Let me get uh, some of these shirts uh, situated. Just getting them untangled a little bit. So I can do one more lot and then we'll call it a night. Because I need to get some rest and got to let my wife go to bed soon. Here's two. I think I have no rock shirts in here. <laughs> Is that Emily laughing? What is yeah. she laughing? I know. Sorry, guys. I heard my daughter laughing. <laughs> She watching a movie or something? <laughs> what are you guys watching? <laughs> All right. Oh, that's why she's laughing. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm almost done. Give me one minute more. And that should be all in dandy. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is going to be an awesome. Oh, yeah. Let me just get one more. I know, Roy. How you been, Roy? I know Roy's been a little bit of it. He's been everywhere doing his thing, man. You guys are following Horizon Picks. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out his channel. That's some great stuff. Oh, 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 oh. oh snap. Crackle pop. Oh, yeah. Definitely. This is going to release. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm just getting excited watching all these shirts. Did I forget I have half of these shirts? Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot I had this one, too. Oh, man. I hope I don't get in trouble for this one. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, this will be good, too. All right. That's half of the box. Still got half left. So let's get this joint going. All right, guys. Yes, there's a shirt lot. Someone's blind bid it. Let's start it. I got some fire on this one, too. So, so if you guys want to start the blind bid, you're more than welcome to start. All right. Let's get it started. First off, we have what year is this? What year is this? No, it's vintage, but what year is it? Sure. No, I know it's vintage. It's Mr. Uh oh. Tom's already at 50. Ooh, man, let's go. Got this vintage Rod Stewart shirt. A night to remember. That 
that was a night to remember tour. And it's on a Hanes Ultra Weight. You can see it's a vintage tag. So you guys know this is a vintage shirt. All right, well, I can put it away. Next off, we got. Oh, what size? Sorry, I forgot to say the size. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is a size extra large. Next shirt we got coming up is a size large Harley Davidson motorcycles. Motorcycle, motorcycle, motorcycle. Well, this is a mixed uh, size lot from Charleston, South Carolina. It's on, a, it's, it's on a, an actual Harley Davidson white tag. Like my uh, good friend January House next, we have, what size is this? It's an extra large. Yeah. Yeah, this is the last one, Janine, I promise. Harley Davidson shirt. It's on a Motor Harley Davidson tag. It's a size large. Yeah, too bad I don't drink coffee. But a cold beer sounds good about now. Look at that, Harley Davidson, Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, North Carolina. Tom's all like, I want in on this action. Let's go. This one is a size medium. It has that pocket, that front pocket hit. It has that cigarette pocket in the front. Second scene, Harley Davidson, Chicago. Nice. And it's in an, an official Motor Harley Davidson cycle tag. Next, we have a liquid blue. I know, Janine. I need to get, find a way to send you those 805s down there. The Who? Pinball Wizard? This is on a liquid blue. This is actually screen printed, but it's an awesome shirt for any The Who fan. Ooh. I know, Jenny. I will get those. I'm going to have to figure out a way to get those out to you. The next shirt is a size large. You guys want to rock and roll all night? This is the Kiss of Life 35th anniversary. On a rock and roll all night, every day. This is on a Gildan tag. We should mark the start time of Luis and Luis next year. I know, right? <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> all right. Then I have this vintage Bugs Bunny polo shirt. It's on a vintage Warner Brothers tag, extra large. And this is from 1996. Has it on the tag? 1996 Warner Brothers. So this is a what you call a vintage polo shirt. It has and it has Bugs Bunny on. And it's embroidered. So that's going in there. I know this is a shirt that Louie would want and he would love. And I know he's going to be upset that he wasn't here, but sorry, Louie. <laughs> this one. 
the ultimate Poon Tang's championship. <laughs> I know you guys are probably thinking, Luis, what are you doing? I'm sorry. <laughs> It was an extra large. I know, I know, guys. I know. <laughs> I didn't get it at first either, but when I showed Louie, he's the one that kind of told me. I was like, oh, okay. I guess so. Next, we have a Santa, an original Santa Cruz uh, <laughs> shirt. It's a dye, it's a tie dye shirt. If you guys are out from the Cali area, you guys know Santa Cruz skateboards. It's on an original Santa Cruz tag. That's an awesome. That's the back hit. What happened, baby? You guys good? Okay, daddy's almost done. All right. All right, next. Zygon says, sure, I'll drop down 55. You got the Blink 182 California shirt. Little size large. This is from the K Rock Acoustic concert in 2016, which also included Green Day, Kings of Leon, Jimmy Eat World, AFI, Beck, Weezer couple of other bands at the forum in Inglewood. Inglewood. Tom says, sure, I like what I see. Let me drop that really quick. All right, guys, I'm going to go back to back with these shirts right now. This is a size medium shirt. Yeah. But I'm going to throw this in there. If you guys have never seen this movie, I suggest you guys watch it. It's a funny movie. I like it. It's a good movie. It's called Cry Baby. I know you guys all know who that is. Mario's all like, people, I want that shirt. Cry baby. <laughs> Let's see. How many shirts? I'll count them right now, Mark. Give me one second. Let me show one more shirt and then I'll, I'll start counting them. This next one is on a Hanes Beefy Tee. It's an adult extra large. <laughs> exactly. Johnny Depp, Mr. Jump 21, Jump Street. World Championship Wrestling. That's. As all you fellow uh, wrestling fans might <clears throat> know, it's WCW. But this is not just a WCW shirt. This is an actual WCW crew shirt. So this is, means that whoever worked for WCW wore this shirt. And from what I understand, it's people that set up the stage and the ring and all that good stuff wore these shirts. So this is pretty cool. These are not, you know... Available pretty much to nobody, but yeah, I was able to get this one. It's on a Hanes Beefy. Old school tags. Yep. <laughs> Let me count the shirts real quick. There goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, we're at 12 shirts right now, oh man, these shirts are heavy, sure Maria didn't sell the rest when win, yep, exactly, let me know guys, we'll keep going, we'll keep popping these bags open, I'll start throwing some more in here, I still got more. 
Mark says, let's see what you got, Luis. All right. What else do I got in here? Got a couple of shirts in here, but I'm just going along with this as you guys are. Got an empty bag in there. What is this? Oh, right. I forgot about this shirt. Yeah, you guys want to see something cool? Look at this ice cube shirt. It's small. It's for a kid. It's a kid size. It's an ice cube. Ice cube. You would think, oh, someone made this shirt, but it's an actual official ice cube shirt. It actually has the ice cube tag on it. And there's the size. It's a base. It's uh, for kids. It's size 910. <laughs> That's funny. Forgot I have that in, but I'll throw it in here. Throw it in there. Next, I have what size is this? This is a size medium. It's the boys in the hood. We got the 2018. What was this tour called? On the road to with uh, Beyonce and Jay Z, also known as Jigga Man. It's an actual concert shirt. You guys know concert shirts are very popular. People like buying the concert shirts, especially when they went to the concert and they couldn't buy one because they were sold out. So it makes it even more better. All right, guys, who's going to keep it going? We're pulling out some more. Some more, more, more. All right, this one's a size large. This is a long sleeve country life shirt. This one is on a Gildan Ultra. Let me show you guys the back hit. It also has the on the, it's on the other sleeve, I believe. Yeah. It's on the sleeve. Country life. Go for all the country life. Okay, Maria came in first at 80. Thank you, Maria. Next, I have a size small. If you guys know who this uh, Spanish rock band is, they're called Mana. It's an awesome concert shirt. This is one of the one of my uh, favorite Spanish rock bands. This is their dra drama y luz. This is from their 2011 tour. So this shirt is 10 years old. This is a size uh, small. So I'll throw that in there. If you guys don't know who Mana is, look them up. They've done music with Carlos Santana and, and uh, various other artists. Great band. Oh, I got some more. Found some more. Let's go. Cat D says, let's go, let's go. All right, guys, so someone else throw another bit, and I'll bring some more heat. I got two more heaters I could throw in in this lot. So this, again, you got something in that one's this one. This is Dory's lot, and this is the third lot. Let me know, guys, who else is in. I'll throw in some more heat. We got Maria in at 80. Yep, Maria. But that is legend, exactly. You know who I'm talking about. I'm going to throw this shirt in just to kind of spark it up a little bit. We got a size large Harley Davidson. It's a silk button shirt, but it's embroidered. Harley Davidson motorcycles. It's on an official motor Harley Davidson tag. And it's a size large, and this is the back hit. 
That's the back hit. Roy says, sure, I'll put that. And this one actually has the skull embroidered on the actual, on the collar, which I thought was pretty unique. But it's pretty awesome, though. It has it. It's embroidered, too. In the front. That's that front embroidered, but it has that front pocket also, and it's embroidered as well. So we'll throw this uh, in the mix with that lot. We got Roy in that 90, guys. Maria says she is out. All right. Any other interest, guys? I had another shell I was going to throw in here. Another shirt that I got that I think will be good, good for it's a good reseller shirt. Uh, what shirts do you want, Marie? Okay, nice. How many shirts so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen shirts. Oh, I got one. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'll just throw in the other shirt. Why not? This one is a 2015 2X. Four shirt. The Who. There's a Who concert shirt. In 2015. 2015 concert shirt. Ooh. Yep, that's 20. Let's see. Uh, whoever wins, can Maria have that shirt? It wasn't at 95, and Roy came in at a Benji. Oh, Maria says, not so fast. All right, Maria, since you're in on it, this shirt is an extra large. Oh, Zygon Tiger says, not so fast. I'm going to throw in this sublime Long Beach, California shirt with Lou Dog on the front. It's a size... Extra large. And that's the back part of the Sun Lime shirt. We got Lou Dog. Boom. Lust of Lime. Sublime, sorry. <laughs> yep. That's Sublime right there. Quick history with them. I grew up in the era where I was privileged enough to see Sublime perform in person. I got to see No Doubt perform in person. I'm not talking about concerts. I'm talking about backyard uh, house parties in my area. So I got to witness to see a lot of these uh, bands perform before they made it big. You know, fortunately, you know, what happened to Bradley when he passed away. He was a cool dude. I talked to him a few times, but awesome, awesome band. Yeah, so I was uh, like I said, it's been uh, one of my life uh, things, right? But I was happy to have seen them uh, at the backyard parties. And Blink One Eighty Two is another band as well. I know only a few of you guys know. Uh, my cousin uh, actually went to high school with uh, Travis Barker, and he's good friends with them. So, yeah, I got to see No Doubt. A lot of people know, don't know that No Doubt was a punk band before they became a rock band. So. Yeah, so it was actually cool to see 
when performing with Bradley and the backyard party when there's only like 30 people in the backyard. So those were nice. I mean, if you guys do your research uh, in my area, they, they, they performed in Riverside and San Bernardino, Fontana area. So Anaheim too, that's where Nogal was originally from. You know, just like uh, Blink-182, a lot of people say they're from San Diego. Yeah, they were more out in San Diego, but they actually were out here in the IE, in the Fontana, San Bernardino area too. So same thing with Sublime. Sublime used to perform a lot out here in Riverside and uh, San Bernardino as well. But yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, awesome people, awesome bands. So, yeah, they were a ska band, but they were also considered a punk rock band at the same time. So, definitely. A lot of people think that they were just a ska band, but no, they were also a punk, you know, punk rock band too. So. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I know, Janine, you were out here, so you know, you grew up around that era as well. And uh, I know. Once I get some footage of the backyard uh, performances, uh, I know my cousin has a few of Blink-182, and uh, I asked him if he has some of uh, No Doubt and uh, Sublime. I would love to see that and uh, kind of relive those uh, days again. Yes, you're right, uh, Mark. There was a guy seeing uh, it before Gwen. Yes, I'm in the IE, uh, Stephen. What part of the IE you're at, man? All right, we got Zygon Tiger in at 120, guys. Any other interest? I just threw in some more heat. Trying to see what else I got left. Oh, here it is. Huh? Last bag, guys. Oh, nice. You're in Colton. Awesome. Going once or going twice. But yeah, guys, if you guys haven't uh, done your research on these bands, awesome bands, they all came up from nothing and uh, they all made uh, great music. Maria says, Not so fast. I got one thirty. Okay. You say one thirty? I say one, one, another shirt. All right. This next one is a size extra large. It's a Disney shirt, but it's not just any Disney shirt. This is an actual, a cast exclusive collection shirt. So this was only exclusively to the cast. This is the front head of the shirt. Tradition built by characters is it shows all the years the different parks were open, which is a pretty cool shirt. Yeah, it is, bro. This is awesome. I love this shirt, especially because it's one of those shirts that wasn't really available to to the public, just available to the cast members, and it shows all the different years that every park was open. What does it say on the front? It says, it says Disney, and then it says tradition built by characters. Yeah, I'll try to put it up again so you can see it. There you go. <laughs> Mark, close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. Oh my god. All right, guys. We got any other interests? If not, we can start calling it. I know Janine's been uh doing a great job for me. Yeah, Janine did live in Colton as well. Let me know, guys. Woo, this is a nice lot. It's a great way to end the auction tonight. Let me know. There's a, let Jenny know there's any interest. If not, we will start counting it down. Okay, out to Maria. Thank you, Mark.
Yeah, Janina is awesome. All right, I'll put it here. Yep, thanks, Jonathan, for sharing that information. <laughs> I see you're in here getting ideas for your auction. What up, sir? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> it's all love, Michael. That, that's my boy right there. Uh, shout out to who, who's Tom Cruise. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Sandy. Appreciate you hanging out with us, and we're going to say so to Maria. Congratulations, Maria. Awesome lot. I'm going to write awesome Maria lot. Congratulations. Wow, tonight was an epic auction tonight. You're welcome, Maria. I'm going to have a long night of packing tonight and tomorrow, but I will get everything out for you guys tomorrow. Definitely. Yeah, definitely, uh, Jonathan Afar. Congratulations. Yeah, guys, if I... Uh, uh, who's Tom Cruise just got his new shirts, uh, you know, uh, for his, uh, his, with his uh, logo on it and all that. If you guys want to order, make sure you guys, uh, go check him out. Uh, hit him up on, on his, on his, uh, excuse me, on his Instagram and, uh, let him know you want to order a shirt. You know, he does, uh, some great auctions with, uh, Westside Gary, which they will be having this coming Saturday on Westside Gary's channel. So definitely you guys don't miss out. Should be an awesome auction. They always bring, you think I bring fire bots? They bring some fire bots. Oh yeah, no, actually Cat D is not bad. The shirts for me are easy because I pack them. Then I put them into the Ziploc bags. Then I have a machine that sucks the air out of it. So it makes a bundle from this to like, so it actually helps me out a lot. You know, yeah, Cat D packing the slaps. Yep, definitely. That should take me a couple of hours. <laughs> and I'm just playing. Yeah, I'll ship out all that stuff for you guys tomorrow. Yeah, guys, and don't forget uh, tomorrow, don't forget uh, Mr. Pies a lot. He'll be on. He has an auction tomorrow. Make sure you guys go down there. Uh, show Brian some support. Let him know. Uh, you know, I send you guys, uh, say hello to Brian and Pam for me. Uh, I should be in there, too. Yeah, I've been to the Mission Tiki uh, swap meet, uh, Mark. I haven't been there in a while, but uh, uh, last time I went, I went with my father-in-law. So, Thank you, Maria. Yeah, but definitely uh, check them out. And also, uh, don't forget Pickers Warehouse. They also have an auction tomorrow afternoon. So make sure you guys check them out and, uh, you know, let's uh, support each other. Let's help each other grow. Let's, uh, you know, let's keep this moving and uh, keep being there and being, staying positive and growing this community and keeping uh, this community tight, tight knit. Yeah, it is. Three days a week, it's open. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> hey, brother, how you doing? You heard me talking. But, yeah, definitely uh, go, go check out Justin's auction tomorrow. It always brings some. Awesome lots. You know, you guys catch me in there also. You know, sometimes I'm in there, I'm listening. So thank you, Maria. I appreciate it. So make sure you guys check out the auction, his auction tomorrow as well. He does bring uh, some, like I said, some awesome lots. Oh, no worries, Maria. It's all good. Thank you, Joy. Thanks for everyone for joining me tonight in this auction. I want to thank uh, Nikki Love Snacks also for joining me. I know she had to leave a little early, but I uh, I also want to thank her for coming out. There's my son waiting for me. <laughs> you know, so definitely, guys, I appreciate it. You guys have a great night. And I'll see you guys in the chats tomorrow. Yeah, I know. I know, Justin. Appreciate it, bro. I appreciate you always uh, 
stopping by though. Thank you, Janine. 30 minutes. Uh, so I'm telling you, I think I'm going to have to tell Louie, hey, man, we're not to start timing you. <laughs> yeah, family time now. Yeah, bro. Come here, baby. Say, say good night to everyone. Good night, everyone. Tell them, have a good night. Yeah, I hope you have a good sleep. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> what that's saying, guys. Oh, and if, if you, if um, some of the people win the prize, um, <laughs> all right guys thank you guys so much uh, for hanging with me tonight and i'll see you guys in the chats tomorrow i'll see you guys on mr buys a lot and i will also be uh on our pickers warehouse uh auction tomorrow so definitely uh see you guys around thank you guys have a great night stay blessed and remember every day above ground is a wonderful day so let's keep it going good night guys good night say peace peace <laughs>